Je vindt de game over. Rieten of Nim. Gaming! 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 Me and I'm a me and I'm a caveman, and in in this world we've started developing language, and what? our word for our word for uh for rock is not rock; it's actually gaming. So I'm looking around and I'm going gaming, because <laughs> that's all I can see. Anyway, there you go. That's um, that's just a little bit for you, a little little thing you can imagine. Hope you enjoyed that. There you go. It's my new character, the gaming caveman. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Fangu do not sue. Okay, hi everyone. Hi, we're back. Egg hey, buddy, your subscription thing worked. Oh, and that's two years I see right there. That's ridiculous. But thank you uh, very very much, Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia. Oh my. Well, I guess we do greetings again. I guess we- I guess we do greetings again. I guess we do the whole thing again. I guess this is a new stream. I guess basically this is a new stream. Okay. Ooh, weird. 
Uh, hi Washa, hi Pink Honeybug, hi Number Numbin, hi Monster Bismuth, hi Young Station, hi Scratching Way, hi Neo Zero, hi Get Gamma Chris, hi Algernon, hi Sepasai, hi Rojo, hi Kenster, hi Sequar, hello Terra, hi Eight Lives, hi Egg Buddy, hi Godot, hi Cube, hi Gallon J, hi Corbumi, hi Seltabe, who I now know. Your name is Beatles Backwards, I know that now. I've got it. I've learned that now. Uh, also, hello, Minharat. Hello, everyone. Oh, hello, Luigi. Also, whew, there we go. Oh, man. But yeah, honestly, I was very happy with this image. Can I be honest? This was a, this was a you know, a one minute job because I'm not plugging the tablet in for this one. But I had a photo I wanted to use for some stream image. And I was like, maybe this is the one. Maybe this is the one. Jam, you didn't miss the hellos. The hellos are never ending here. This is a this is a greeters stream. So hello, welcome in. Consider yourself uh gret. Consider yourself gretted. Uh it's happening. Hello. Um, okay, so quick context for anyone who wasn't here earlier. Um yeah. The power it it stopped uh functioning, but it's okay. It's been fixed. It's, it, it's, i the problem has been solved. The problem has been solved with a little bit of thinking, a little bit of ingenuity, a little bit of luck, perhaps. The problem has been solved. Uh, and also, I just, I mean, I went outside for a bit, because why not? Anyway, we're here, we're back, it's all good. Uh, <laughs> it's all good, so that's nice. Hello, Lonely Fisherwoman 1987. They can never make me stop streaming. That's true. That's true. Uh, but yes. Um, anyway, now we're back. So, yeah. Very unfortunate, uh, Shadow of the Colossus would lo would love to finish that game. Would love to get that, that bad boy done, tucked in, in bed, you know, kiss on the forehead, uh, perhaps, uh, read it a bedtime story, hong shu, hong shu, done, gone, forever. Um, unfortunately, yeah, dark forces keep intervening. <laughs> So there's still one more guy to climb and best, uh, and, you know, whatever happens at the end of that game to see. So, now here's the- here's the thing. Should I- should I- should I- should I do that now? Hey, do you know why the wires are now zappy? Huh? I was having a nice meal of all wires and now my table is on fire. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, you you worked so hard to prepare those delicious wall wires too. You've been pulling them out of there for months. Oh dear. Um, it's cause you went on that bisexual rant. I yeah, that's true. That might honestly be the cause of a lot of my problems. I might it might have it might have been that. That might have cursed me. I mean, I had every right to say what I said, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you know, I might be feeling repercussions, which is new for me. I didn't know what that was like. Um, but there you go. New life experience. Thrilling stuff. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I don't know if I actually want to finish Shadow of the Colossus right now. Feels kind of weird to do it now, because it's like, this is like a weird time to stream. This is like, you know, this is like late, kind of. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's fine. I don't know. It seems like a number of people are here. There's more people here than I thought there would be immediately right off the bat. So like, maybe it's chill. <laughs> maybe it's fine. But I, yeah, I kind of was thinking, Kenster, this might be a fuck around stream. This might just be I fuck around for a bit. I could also do Mario. I do love Mario. He's my friend. Uh, you stream games at this time all the time? That's tr true. I do, but it feels weird starting a stream at this time. That feels different, you know? <laughs> like, a stream being four hours in at this point in time, it's like, that's chill. That's cool. Whatever. But this is minute 11 of the stream right now. Weird, you know? Mm, scratching away, that's a good point. Do I do I just want to get it done? That is that is fair. Do I just want to get it done? I don't know. Also, hello Fire Mountain, and hello Benemy, hello Life Forcer. Hi everyone. Hi Eight Lives. Hello, hello. 
Mario Eclipse non-mod areas? That might be woke. What time is it for you right now? Uh, it's only like 5 p.m. <laughs> it's like 5 p.m. It's like not late. <laughs> it's like the afternoon. <laughs> you would have to schedule another Shadow of the Colossus stream, which would be annoying. Yeah! That's kind of how I'm feeling. Unless... Unless tomorrow, you know, unless tomorrow we kill that thing, we murder it. Sunday, 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 the event of a lifetime. <laughs> you know, I sorry, I don't know any. I don't know any wrestling. I would, I would do like a bit. I would do like a. Oh yeah, be there. That's what they say. They they love telling you to be there. So we could we could do that. We could do that. We could do tomorrow, maybe. Kill the lost man on Sunday. Yeah, like, Jesus Christ. That's not what happened. I don't know. What, did Je what day did Jesus die on? He came back on a Sunday. I think. Maybe? I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> he was also not the lost man in any way. I don't know. Failed bit. Moving on. Hi, Rachel. Thank you for welcoming me back. It's good to be back. It's good to be here. It's good to be alive. Thursday? Jesus died on a third. Really, a Thursday? I think I want to go out on a Thursday. You know? That actually would be good. Thursday would not be bad. If a day, as a day to die, Thursday would be okay. Because any other day feels too much like an event. You know? Any other day, it's like, oh man, I'm dying on a Friday. Oof. You know? A weekend day? That's an event. Uh, Monday, that's the start of the week. That feels like, you know, like, a too, too kind of brutal in a way. Can you rank the days of the week by how much you would like to die on them? Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Alright. MS Paint. Alright. So. Days of the week ranked by how much I would prefer to die on them. Okay. So, uh, t this is, this is, like, best to worst. So let's do worst, actually. Let's do worst first. I think worst is totally... Can you pay the power bill plus the power startup fee so we can have a working <laughs> fridge? My yogurt's going to get warm. <laughs> it's just as foul warm as it is cold. You'll like it that way. Worst day to die, probably... A Saturday? It just would feel bad. I mean, you could go out- actually, you could go- I guess weekend days are kind of middle of the road, because, like, you could go out, like, having a good time, which I guess is nice. But I think I would- I would like to go out peacefully on, a, like, a calm one. And also dying on my day off? Fuck. That is kind of real, that's true. Um, so wor- okay, worst is, like... Honestly, I think Monday just feels brutal. Monday just feels brutal, because, to me, it's like... That feels symbolically bad. It's the start of the week, and I'm dead. Great. Okay, there goes there goes my entire week because now I'm dead. Cool. Everything is over now. That feel that feels rough. You know, you avoid a work week. That's true. But I don't know. I just think symbolically that feels worse to me. I realize it's the same thing no matter what. No matter what, it's sort of the end. That's sort of the nature of death. But like, I think Monday just would feel bad. And I just I just don't like Mondays. I'm like Garfield. You know. See, I would, I would want to die on a day I like, and I do like Thursday, which is why it's going to be number one spot. Number six, though, on the list, I would say that is... Oof. Wednesday, Wednesday, okay, here's the thing, Wednesday, it's like, well, fuck me, I didn't make it to, I didn't, I didn't make it to Thursday. <laughs> that's, that's rough. And also, middle of the week, I don't know, not feeling it, not good to me. Now, now here's probably where we get to, uh, I feel like I'm forgetting a day, which is insane. Oh, I'm forgetting about Friday. I'm forgetting about Friday. Where does Friday go? No, Friday's good. Friday's actually good. I like Friday. I like dying on a Friday. Okay, five. Hello, Margo. It's better to die on a Sunday than Monday. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. Okay. For a second, I was misreading that, and I was like, what is your logic here? But yeah, I would say Sunday... 
Sunday, Sunday is also sort of uh, brutal and intense because Sunday has finality to it. That's the final day of the week and it's the final day of your life. So I think of the weekend days, it's probably in the inferior one. But I would say Saturday and Sunday are pretty much, you know, uh, equal, uh, I think, for me. Then I would actually, this is interesting, I think I would maybe go... I would maybe not go Friday, I would go Tuesday here, actually. Tuesday would be pretty alright. I would not mind Tuesday. Um, when when I die in hopefully a good number of decades, can someone uh, post my list? One I of like you will be Sunday. alive still. I have Always faith. Always bright on that day. No one likes talking about it, though. Mm, I think it's better to die on Sunday than Saturday because Saturday you're still in the middle of partying. Yeah, but... Mm. No, I don't know. No, no, for me, it's for me, it's the symbolism. For me, it's the symbolism, I'm afraid. It's more of an interruption on Saturday. But yeah, but like, you go out in the middle of it, and like, you probably don't even know what's happened, you know? That's kind of nice. Holly is a week starts on Monday person? Oh, no, not this again. Not this shit again. Oh, the week starts on Monday. Anyone who says otherwise is crazy. <laughs> you're, 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 you're scary to me. You're scary. That's frightening. Sorry, I have strong feelings about this. It's all made- well, it's all made up, but, you know, everything is made up. Societally, we have to do- we, you know, we, we create structure for ourselves. And I think we should make one that makes sense! Damn it! <laughs> oh, you agree, okay. Is there any- listen, I know I probably just made you all feel very othered, but is there anyone here who thinks the week starts on Sunday? Or is that what some people think? They think it starts on Sunday? Are there any Sunday starters here? Speak up now. I'm curious. I would love to hear from- Corvumi. Corvumi, I'm, I mean you no harm. I mean you no harm. I, I'm just curious. What's your- What's- What's your story? Do you- you Does fool. it just feel right? Zug day is in trial. You were thinking about a poll day. The best day. Pol Top day that day no one nice talks about. Poll day is a nice Poll day? I'd be chill with a day called poll day. Someday, no. Poll day, yes. Sunday doesn't start shit from fuck. True. Calendar's listed as the start of the week here, but really your week just depends on what your life is like. Well, now this is true. This is true. I have a quite a, quite a loosely structured life uh, currently, and, and I still choose to believe in a start and end of the week. And for me, it's Monday to Sunday. I don't know. Having a day off at the start of the week and the end of the week makes me feel sane. But they're back to... But it, like, it, you know, like it... <sighs> Hmm. I get that. I get that. I get that it's the week. Well, it's the week end. But does that mean the end at the start and the end at the end? I guess so, in your view. Yeah, there are arguments that the ends of the week are the... The ends of the week are on each end of the week. God, that's a confusing sentence, but I, I know what you mean. Like how bookends are on both ends of the books. Yeah. But then it'd be the weekends? Not necessarily. But anyway, sorry, where were we? Oh yeah, two is Friday. Friday, actually, ooh, that feels weird. Friday shouldn't be this high. I act, can I sw I'm actually gonna put Friday down there and Saturday is gonna go up way higher. This is gonna seem crazy, but it's actually true. <laughs> Hold on. I just, I just realized I would I'm not mind going out on a Saturday. Day. No wait Gut Friday. Feeling. No wait bread day with cheese. Ah, ah. Oh yeah, Paul day. Ah, ah. Count? Are you doing your impression of the count? That was awesome. Uh, anyway, then this is Saturday. And then Thursday. Thursday is my number one day to expire from this world. I just think it would be so peaceful. I, I'd just be in the middle of my usual things. Maybe it happens in my sleep. Maybe it just happens casually. And it's okay. It's no big event. It's no big fuss. It's just Thursday. And that's alright. And then I get cremated or I get buried. And I go into the earth. I, I somehow, some way, And the dull on it goes. Just to Thursday. Lovely. So there you go. There you go. Dying on a Friday could be a fun adventure. What if you get into a weekend at Bernie style situation? I mean, that'd be that'd be all right, I guess. I guess I wouldn't mind my corpse getting on to a bit of an adventure before I I you know end up where I end up. 
That would be that would be okay, I guess. If you could have any Muppet by your signs as you pass away, who would you want it to be? Oh my god. Any Muppet? Any Muppet. Oh, any Muppet? This is this is interesting. Who is uh, I <laughs> See, I don't think I would want a very, a very loud Muppet. I don't think I, I don't think I could have Miss Piggy by my side as I'm dying. Although, actually, maybe it'd be okay. Because she would make the moment about her, and maybe I wouldn't mind that. I would be happy to go out humbly, you know? Because, like, if it's Miss Piggy, she's, like, mourning like crazy, she's making a fuss. And then it's kind of about her, and it's not about me. And that's okay with me, because my life is ending, but hers is going on. And, and that's alright, you know? I'm kind of okay with that. I'm kind of okay with my final moments being fuel for someone else in some fashion. You know, that seems alright. To me, there's some sort of beauty in that. <laughs> but yeah, Rolf would be chill. Rolf would be chill as fuck. I was kind of thinking Rolf, because he'd be he'd just be like nice. If I'm if I'm anxious when it's happening, if I'm not feeling good about it, then then let's 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 get Rolf in there. Let's get Rolf in there. Hundred percent. For sure. <laughs> I want the Muppet to die at the same time as me. <laughs> okay, that feel I feel like that changes my answer. I don't want Rolf dying. For some reason, then I'm like, you know what? Fucking Kermit, we can go out together. We'll die together. Me and that frog. I don't know why. It'd be okay. Also, yeah, animal. Animal by our side could be awesome. I would not want Kermit when I'm dying, he would be too stressed out about it. Yeah. I guess that's true. For some reason it, it would amuse me. But I guess I'd be dying, so maybe amusement isn't what I should be focused on, or maybe it is. I'd be okay going out amused. That'd be, that'd be nice. That'd be good. I think Kermit would be strangely calm in the face of death. I can see it. I'd like to think maybe he's accepted it already, you know? Also, narrator, hello, welcome in. Hello. Scooter would welcome death. Not Scooter. Oh man. Uh. Also, yeah, the prawn. He's he's a cool dude. He's a chill guy for sure. I think I think ultimately you really couldn't go too wrong. Are we allowed to pick the Sesame Street Muppets? Most of them seem like they'd be better at hospi hospice care. I mean, yeah, they are Muppets, so you could you could pick any of them. I, I don't know if I'd want any of them, though, honestly. Because, like, everyone I know- here's the thing, I'm just thinking, like, everyone I know in life, none of them are really closer to the Sesame Street Muppets than the, the Muppets Muppets, you know? And I would want a Muppet that at least is somewhat alike to the people I've known in life, <laughs> I think. I think that would be okay. I don't know any Elmo- well, okay, Cube is an Elmo. That's a- uh, sorry, I'm wrong. I know Cube. Cube is Elmo. So, I guess... never mind. Maybe I'm crazy. What about the Feebles? I- <laughs> what if, I mean, I don't know. Sure, you could have a Feeble if you wanted. Or a, fr or a Fraggle. Even. You want Statler and Waldorf? Oh, that'd be- they'd be fucking awesome to have. Mocking you. As you pass on. Good stuff. <laughs> Is Squeaky Animal? <laughs> yeah, Squeaky's Animal. For sure. <laughs> 100%. So- so alike. Uh... Bert and Ernie would be my pick. Both of them in the same room as I'm losing consciousness forever would kick ass. That would be, I mean, that'd be nice, I guess. Yeah, Mozifa, yeah, yeah. A any, you can have any Jim Henson, uh, creation. Any, any Jim Henson, like, creature workshop creation. <laughs> Tengu Jim and I were talking about what Muppets we want, uh, to be there when we're dying. For some reason. <laughs> For some reason, that's what we're talking about. I just- I made myself laugh thinking of fucking Hoggle. Or, that's, or Hobble? Hoggle? What's his name? He's Hoggle, right? In Labyrinth? 
<laughs> having fucking hoggle there. <laughs> Jesus. That would be terrible. That would be awful. I would not I would not love that. <laughs> but it's an option. It's it's an option by the rules we've established. I feel like the Swedish chef would know what to say. Yeah, I can kind of feel like if I was if I was slipping out of this world, if my if my grip was loosening, his words would kind of have a radiant, beautiful truth to them. Is David Bowie a Muppet? You cannot have Jareth the Goblin King. You can have any of his goblins, but you can't have him. Unfortunately. I want Oscar the Grouch to be there when I die and summarily get wrongfully arrested for my murder. Whoa! Holy shit. Damn. What did he ever do to you? I mean, I guess he was a grouch. I guess he was sort of grouched up. Fair enough. If I had Jareth the Goblin King, I wouldn't die. You think you would live? You think if Jareth was there, you would survive somehow? I don't. I don't think that's true. I've I've seen the kinds of things that guy gets up to. That character, that that Jareth. He's stealing little babies and things. I I think you'd be doomed. I have seen gaming in the Clinton years. Yes. Nobody has picked Fozzie. Does that mean anything? <laughs> I think it might mean that we have taste. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I see Manharat. Okay, you have nothing against Oscar. So you weren't setting him up for arrest. You're just- you're, you're making a comment on, on society. I see, I see. And the institutions we have. Got it, I understand. You're right, yeah. Hello, baby Iggy. Guess who's back? Back again. <laughs> That's right, Jolly's back. Tell my friend. So true. I'm here, and we're talking about, uh, Muppets? That, that's all we're doing. We're just talking about Muppets currently. But I- oh! I- it's still doing that! Interesting, so it's a Sammy issue, I mean, obviously. But, wow. It is a Sammy issue, that is interesting. It is sending that four times for every time it's redeemed. For no reason, as far as I can tell. Cool. Hopefully they fix that. I really like, uh, Mrs. Piggy. Hell yeah. I was gonna say something. I don't remember. I don't remember what I was gonna say. But it was gonna be... smart. It was gonna be wise. It was gonna be full of great truths. But now... I have forgotten. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's fine, it, Wash, it's fine. They can, they can post four links, I don't care. <laughs> We're just talking about Muppets, it's chill. We can have, we can have four links to my men tweet. Go ahead. Oh wait, let's do, let's get four links to the four linkses. Wait, that one only does one? <laughs> no, hold on, <laughs> what? <laughs> now, why does that one only do one? I was excited. Come on. Did, wait, are they fixed now? <laughs> what the fuck? Clowning around. <laughs> why? <laughs> oh man. Well, that's funny. Kenster, your message is getting censored for, I think, Twitch thinks there's links as- oh. There's- yeah, I don't know, Twitch thinks there's links in it, so I can't- I can't see. That's not censored? That's on purpose. Oh! You are doing a bit of a bit. Well, I'll be. I'm the fool. Aw, oh, man. Censored more like censored. 100. So true. Whenever- I always say this, but whenever people post my name and like an ellipses afterwards, oh man, it feel it feels brutal. I feel like I'm in the 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 medieval torture uh the thing where they pull your your um your limbs. You you know? 
I th I'm in that. <laughs> Hello, young station. Hello. <laughs> it's the greatest method of psychological torture. It's crazy. I'm looking over my glosses at you like a disappointed librarian. No! That's my least favorite kind of librarian! Fuck! God damn it! Of all the ways to get looked at librarily, why did it have to be that one? Why can't you look at me with a, a glance of respect, for you see I am a fellow scholar? <laughs> oh, man. Egg Buddy, those are, those are just a variety of guys we've accrued over the course of uh, this year, basically. Also, yeah, that one does that when you post it. <laughs> I, I forgot to even acknowledge it, because it just... I'm so used to it now. I think the Fraggle Moki would be nice to be there for, with me when I died. I want to watch Fraggle Rock. I've never seen Fraggle Rock, but I I do frequently see those Fraggles, and I'm like, damn, they're badass. They're awesome. You know, who do, who do they have again? There's, uh... Wait, which one's which? Which one's Moki? Which one? Which one is, um... Hold on. I'm on I'm on the Fraggle Rock wiki. By which I mean I'm on regular Wikipedia, actually. Uh two. Oh yeah, okay, Moki's the one I thought, yeah. Moki's sort of the swagged up Fraggle. <laughs> I do love I do love this this sentence. The series mainly follows the adventures of five Fraggles, each with their own personality. Pragmatic Gobo, Artistic Moki, Indecisive Wembley, Superstitious Boober, and Adventurous Red. Those are good names. I just love Pragmatic Gobo. Gert! Well, hello! Welcome in, Gert. Thank you very much for the raid. Hello. I hope you had a good stream. Uh, welcome in. I am pleased to announce that there is uh, v virtually nothing happening here today. Celebrating another Batrider 1cc. Well, congratulations. Well done. That's awesome. And also, hello, Dot. Thank you for the resub for 19 months. It's lovely to see you. Hello, hello. Um, my my uh, power, there were some issues with it earlier. Uh, so the stream ended very abruptly uh, when I was not quite done. So now, even though it's a weird hour, we're back. We're back and just kind of hanging out, <laughs> basically. Not not much is happening. I, I don't think I'm gonna play Shadow of the Colossus right now. I might play something else. But uh, for now, for now we're just kind of chilling. For now, we're talking about Fraggles. Did you know they have the Pragmatic Gobo? Because I just learned that. I, d I didn't know they had Pragmatic Gobo and Fraggle Rock, so I'm, I'm learning. I'm learning. And who could forget Indecisive Wembley? Oh, dude, Indecisive Wembley? Wembley Fraggle? He has like a... I don't know this Fraggle. He has like a Hawaiian chart. Wembley is awesome. Wait, Wembley goes crazy. Is tonight finally the night for Willy Beamish? That is one of our options. We could go Amiga mode tonight. I couldn't decide whether I was saying today or tonight. Look at this guy. This guy's awesome. I should be this guy. I should... This is... I'm rebranding. This is more true. This is more true to the the vibe. I think I should be this. <laughs> Holly's basically a fraggle. I think I should be one. I think I should be. I should be more of a creature on stream. I I I think it would be good. You know. I think it, I think it would be right. It looks like he's the one shocking Mini U. Oh, you're right. Oh yeah, overlaid on the the image I've made. It does kind of look like he's casting like a vile spell on me. He's striking me down. Muppet Holly would be amazing, yeah. Maybe maybe I could become more creaturely if I were to have a second model, who knows. Oh, you would be such a good Muppet. That's like the most flattering thing anyone's ever said here. <laughs> that's like, that's crazy. That's awesome. Modeling Muppet Holly might be difficult. Oh, not for the brainiacs over at Hecma 5 HQ. <laughs> I say as if there's like a team, <laughs> as if I have like a secret lab with people in it. Imagining Holly as a real life puppet. Ah, uh, I. Oh, if I could be a puppet streamer. Oh my god. If I could be a puppet streamer. 
Ah, oh, it'd be insane. It'd be awesome. I wish. Ah. <laughs> but, uh, but unfortunately, I mean, you need, like, multiple people to do that. It's hard. Who is the sexiest Muppet? That's a, oh man, that's a quite a question. Who is the sexiest Muppet? I don't know. Who is the sexiest Muppet? I don't know. A lot of Miss Piggy fans. Miss Piggy is the Pope answer, wow. If you say Elmo, your name's going on a list? Well, yeah, a list of... <laughs> Never mind. Um... Oscar? Oscar the Grouch is actually kind of... Well, no. I don't know. I just wanted to say something exciting. But, you know. I get it. She's literally sexy. I mean, yeah! She literally is. Miss Piggy is an awesome and true answer. Do you think if Jim Henson was born 40 years later, he'd be doing 10 billion trillion million dollar VTuber models for Hololive? That would be... Um... Like, sad, I think? I'm, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say he wouldn't be, but maybe I can delude myself into thinking that he would be a streamer just like me. <laughs> you know? Cause like, I, I think he had he had too many real goals and and you know bits of intent to to just make Hollow Live models. But maybe he could have made other models. He'd have his own agency. Yeah. There's also Janice from Dr. Teeth and the Electric Mayhem. Quite an awesome Muppet. Top-notch Muppet. God, I don't... I'm trying to I'm trying to come up with an answer for sexiest Muppet. I don't know. There's just a lot of good Muppets out there, I'll be honest with you. There's a lot of good Muppets. A lot of lovely, lovely Muppets. Honestly, it's Kermit for me. I... I get... I get it. I get, no, 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 I get it. I get it. If I if I'm having to think about it, it feels like a very easy answer. It feels very easy to say Kermit. You know, <laughs> Kermit has that voice. <laughs> People want that toad in their hole. Kenster uh, plus two for you. Uh. <laughs> Kermit is trying really hard, and that's what makes him good. He is trying really hard, and he's, he's like, a little neurotic in ways that I understand, you know? But he, you know, he's, he's, he's working hard, he cares about things, he's just kind of a very real guy. We all know some Kermits. How do we all feel about Rolf? I mean, Rolf is awesome. I wouldn't say he's sexy as Muppet, but I wouldn't. I would, I, no, he's not sexy as Muppet, but if, if he is for someone, that's so fair. I had a Muppet GF on just thought you should know my lore. As the classic hack maybe character Who known as X Senior. Who what? Oh, you're so mysterious. You're such a mysterious character. And good night, Sepsis. I hope you rest well. You have to relate to Kermit because life just kind of kicks his ass like everyone else. Yeah. Yeah. He's trying his best to put on a show. You know, I've been there. I get it. We're, we're all Kermits. Sort of. Anyway. Cube, you're Kermit? Cube, you're Elmo. You're, you're Fozzie? You're a little bit Fozzie. You're a little bit Fozzie. You're a touch Fozzie with it. Cube, you're Cube. True. George Costanza is one of my favorite characters of all time. Likewise. I'm always thinking about George. I'm always thinking about George. That show was called Seinfeld, but it was about George. Anyway. Cube is Grover? Cube is Grover? I did- Ah, oh, dude, I forgot about Grover! Oh man, Grover's pretty awesome. Grover's epic, actually. I love that guy. Have I ever talked to you all about Grover's new kitten? Hold on. I need to show you all the, the most ultimate book of my life ever. 
This was my favorite childhood book. Hold on, I need to find a picture of it in decent quality. There we go. Thank you, Muppet Wiki. Here we go. When I was extremely young, this is this was everything to me. This was everything. Check this shit out. Grover's New Kitten, featuring Jim Henson, Sesame Street Muppets. And so here's the awesome thing about this book. It's all there's no illustrations. It's all photos. Uh, and it's all photos of Grover and this this real life kitten. Uh, and it's so fucking, it's so awesome. You had this book? Hell yeah. It's a great book. Oh, dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make myself cry looking at Grover's new kitten. Look at, here's the, here's the back cover. Look at this. Oh, I grabbed myself by accident. There you go. Look at that. There we go. Look at them. He's gonna he's gonna brush his new kitten. He's gonna he's gonna brush his new kitten. Look at look at that. Wow. <laughs> it's so awesome. It's so awesome. I still have my copy. It's I've I've held on to it. Hang on. Are there pictures of? <gasps> yes. Holy shit, sorry, I'm, I haven't looked at this for a, a minute, so I'm just, I'm fucking popping off seeing this again. Look at this. Look, he, na he names the kitten Ginger, and they, and, okay, and guys, guys, you won't believe this, they play hide and seek. And look, look at the, look at the little set that they built for them, and it, look. <laughs> look. Holy shit. <laughs> look at that. It's so, it's so good! Look at that little rug, look at the, the photo with like Grover's like mother in it. <laughs> and the little bed in the window and oh, Grover's new kitten! It's Grover's new kitten, you guys! It's Grover's new kit. It's Grover's new kitten! Marigold, hello! Hello, hello! I hope you are doing well. Welcome in. Have you heard of Grover's new kitten, the greatest book ever published? Because now you have. Uh, there you go. <laughs> We're meeting Grover's new kitten. Yeah. It's it's so. <gasps> Sorry, I keep finding new, more pictures from Grover's new kitten, and they make me so happy and so excited and so thrilled. <laughs> oh my god, dude. This this one's crazy. This one's crazy. This one's awesome. Hold up. Look at this. They are playing. They are playing. Fuck. How did they do? It's like he's real. It's like he's real and he's playing with her. It's magical. <laughs> uh, truly, I feel crazy. I feel insane. Look at that is real amazing picture i know right this is the, oh jake's dude you better be pogging under there young man oh good he is okay <laughs> uh it's beautiful fuck house of leaves grover's new kitten tops all other books ever true one thousand percent one billion percent Oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, dude, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm, I'm losing it. I'm, lo I'm losing it? I, I need to show you one more picture of Grover's new kitten. <laughs> look. Look. Look at him. Oh my god. She's sleeping on his bed! <laughs> She's snoozing! <laughs> I, have to take, I have to take this off screen. Oh my god, I have to take this off screen. I have to, we have to, we have to stop, we have to stop. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry. We, I can't, we, I can't do this. I cannot do this on stream. We have to stop. We're not, we're not allowed to keep looking at this. Oh my god, and I just- I just saw the version of the page with text. Okay, no, we- I- we can't. We can't. We can't. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. 
We need to, we need to, we need to fucking do something insane. We need to, we need to like, we need to get weird again. We, we, we're getting too sincere and seeing too much of the beauty of life. We need to, <laughs> hold on, what's like, oh my god, what's like something, what's something awful? You were so afraid of being vulnerable. <laughs> Well, <laughs> why did I read that out? Now it looks like I am. Work time fun palette cleanser, true. How about a redeem that shows a random page from the book? That would be I love some ads. It's my favorite game. That's lovely. I want more pictures of Grover and the cat. I like Grover and cats. We gotta see more. <laughs> I I actually don't know if the other pages have been uploaded in full. Uh, but, oh, man. Okay. Wow. I'm fine. I'm fi I'm not fine. <laughs> oh, it's so fucking sweet, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's so awesome. Hang on, I, and I didn't show you this one. This one's more, this one's less intense, but still quite awesome. Look, they got, guys, they go to the animal shelter and they look at all the cats. This is the first page, I think. It's quite awesome. I will become a grover if we can get over 10 dollar a dollar tonight, you better do it or I will never have eaten. What the hell are you talking about? Get off my screen. Uh, look at this. Beautiful. 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 I'm glad they got a kitten at the shelter. I know, right? How lovely. And there she is. Guys, guys, that's, there's Ginger. Guys, there she is. Guys, there, look. <laughs> look. <laughs> uh, okay, we're good. We're fine. Everything, everything's fine. Uh, okay. You guys, you guys ever... <laughs> I'm, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm not. I'm not tearing up looking at Grover's new kitten. That didn't happen to me. And I'm good. I'm fine. You guys ever jack off? Sorry. I just thought that might reset the mood. I thought. I thought that might bring it back to normal. I don't know. Maybe a maybe a fool's errand. Um. The book is so expensive to buy, really? <laughs> really? Is my uh, oh oh my god it is oh G G oh Christ yeah oh wow oh my god fuck fucked up uh, that's they should reprint Grover's new kitten they should they should do that ASAP. Yeah, my copy is it's it's holding together okay, but it's it's a, a bit worse for wear, I guess. <sighs> Potato idea? That is that is not my name. It appears you've made a a, a wicked typo. It seems you've erred. Dude, I, I looked at the Amazon page for Grover's New Kitten, and I started reading all the reviews about, or like, from parents about showing it to their kids, and I started, I, I, why did I look at that? Why did I look at that? We have to stop. We have to, we have to stop. <laughs> we, we have, we can't do this. This is, this is not okay. It's, oh my god. I can't go, I, I can't go down that path. I've closed the I've closed the tab. It's gone. It's out my mind. I've I don't I don't even I don't even know what Grover is. I don't know what a kitten is. I don't know what the word new means. Are we having feelings on this stream? The only feeling I'm having is that I'm gonna I'm gonna own some. News. I never jack off, unless the funnier answer is that I always jack off. Whichever one fits the situation in the moment. Correct. Right now I'm not, and I never have. Okay. But maybe next time you ask, I will always have been. It's like Schrodinger's Jack. Awesome. Epic. 
Will this become a crying stream? I think no. I think no. I think I, I will remain resolute. I have, I, I, the closest I've come to crying on stream, I think, is Earthbound. Earthbound and Mother 3. Those are both emotional games at the end, for sure. Klonoa 2? Klonoa 2? No. Or maybe did it get, did it? Klonoa 2, I for some reason felt more emotional about than Klonoa 1, I think. Because Klonoa 1, I think people just like, people hype it up so much, the ending. And it is, it is quite crazy. But yeah, Klono Klonoa 2 made me feel some things, for sure. <laughs> I was crying over Jugal Bros. Hey, that's beautiful. That's awesome. That's tight. Jugal Bros was good. I was uh, exporting more VODs the other day, getting them over to the YouTube, because that's uh, something I gotta do. And I saw Jugal Bros and I was like, fuck dude, Jugal Bros? Good stuff. <laughs> I, guys, can I say, I feel like we're gonna scare 68k hard out of maintaining the wiki, because now everyone knows that it keeps coming up, and I like that it exists, but I feel like we're gonna scare them out of out of updating it, because now everyone knows and keeps mentioning it. <laughs> everyone keeps being like, I wonder if this will get added. This should get added. I feel like if we keep that up, then nothing's getting added. The wiki, I mean, it does, it does rule, but it's, you know... It's- it's their secret little project. <sighs> anyway. When are we finally playing Bug Snacks? <laughs> God, Bug Snacks. Weird game, from what I could tell. Klonoa 1 took a while to understand, but overall it made me appreciate Klonoa 2 more. Klonoa 2 Klonoa is a heart's little rabbit who needs someone to talk to about all this. Yeah. Klonoa 2 is awesome. I'm a Klonoa 2 defender. There are, I mean, I say that, there are only a few people I know who have been like, Klonoa 2, I don't know about that. <laughs> Klonoa 2, it's no Klonoa 1. Which, respectfully, I disagree. Do I, the resident funny pink gremlin, jack off? Backslash moon, don't ask questions you aren't prepared to hear the answer to. Also, my penis status is no. <laughs> Now we gotta update the wiki again! Oh, no! Oh, I am- I didn't even- I- oh, I forgot about the Caro Caro Bonito Bug Snack song. I like their... second album, I think, is the one I like. I don't care for much the other stuff that much, but I like their second one. Have they done more in the past few years? I don't know. I- I need- I'm, I've lost track of current releases. I don't know what's coming out. I need to learn more in the world of music. They have done a few EPs. I see. They did Civilization with Sid Meier? <laughs> what the hell? No, I, I, I remember now. True. Um... Do we want to play a game? Is this just chatting? I mean, I guess people just chat, right? I've never- have I ever done a stream where we just chat? I guess the only time I've ever done this was... Wait, have I ever done this? Maybe- no, I don't think I've ever done this. The closest... The closest was the Scampers stream. The closest was the Migraine Wizard stream where we, where we made the Boon for Cherry Scampers redeem. And then, like, at the end of that I played Willy Beamish, though. So maybe this is breaking new ground. Maybe if I just sit here and talk, this is like, we're pioneering. We're, we're going somewhere new. We've never done this. We've almost hit an hour. How far can we go? We could play Crab Champions. They just invent video games. Have you noticed this? Have you noticed that they just make these up? Have you noticed that they just invent these without any rhyme or reason? Tomorrow, there will be more games. Where did they come from? Who did that? I don't know. Does anyone know? We could play Chess Evolve. See, where, where, where are you guys getting these? What happened to Mario and the other guy? What happened to stuff I understood, eh? What happened? 
I think the games come from somewhere else. <laughs> That's scary. Not just somewhere, but somewhere else. Oh no. There's some games based on real life stuff, like Age of Empires or Command and Conquer. You're telling me there was an Age of Empires? That was an age we had? What the hell? You could play Animal Crossing on the GameCube? That would actually kind of go crazy. I could kind of do that. What if we played Luigi's Mansion? I've never played Luigi's Mansion 1, which is quite despicable of me. But I should. I should, I should, I should. Maybe soon, maybe soon. I guess like everyone's about to stream that game, right? It's about to be October and everyone's about to go Luigi's Mansion mode, but I could do it. You could do a Muppet tier list. We could return to ranking Sonic characters on if they're gay or not. <laughs> we could do that, actually. That, wa that was an in-progress uh, adventure of ours. What happened to that? Sonic characters tier list. We could go tier list mode. Also, hello, Nine of Diamonds. Hello, Bilbo. Hi, everyone. I'm waving. I'm saying hi. Where was the- where was the one I was doing? Almost every Sonic character ever? Oh no, this is the one I wanted to pivot to. That's right, we were doing one- one tier maker, but I wanted to pivot to another one because it had more characters on it. Right, 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 yeah. But I feel like if I bring that up, then we're- then we're not just chatting, you know? But maybe it's just outright more interesting, so it doesn't matter. But like, here, here's my thinking, you know? We, I, nev I never just chat. I never just chat. This is my chance to become the chatter. This is my chance to become... the yapper. You know? This is it. If not now, when? I don't know. Which Sonic character do you think is most likely to be anti-vax? Saying Shadow is cheating? I wouldn't say Shadow. I think Shadow is a man of science. I think Shadow is a man of science, and I think he's cool, and I think he knows. I think he gets it. Big the Cat? Unfortunately, real. Yeah, no. Big Big is a is a real contender. As much as I love Big, that is actually like a really like fair point. Oh, Roho, I, I want to do that. Roho, I literally... Yeah, I, I haven't done it yet. That's on my list. <laughs> I'll, I'll outright say it, because I think I've mentioned it before on stream. That is that is on my list of things I want to add a, a button for. Or no, yeah, so not a redeem, a, a stream deck button, I should say. So I could do it. Big the Cat would be anti vax but only because he's scared of getting shots. I mean, that's like a hopeful answer. That's like uh, the nicest way of looking at it. But I think he might just be susceptible to certain conservative views, you know? Not to, you know, simplify him too much, but... It, it comes with the territory of being a big cat, I feel. Late stream today? Uh, yeah, hi Taveshi. Yeah, it's because the the stream uh, crashed and exploded earlier due to power issues, and then I couldn't stream for two hours. But now we're back. Yeah, big the big the cat. Hmm. I think Big would accept Froggy in a very awkward but trying to understand kind of way. Wait, hold, <laughs> wait, hold on. Wait, wait, what is he accepting Froggy for? Is Froggy... I agree. I, I agree regardless of what the answer is, but I'm just kind of curious. Froggy came out? Wow. Froggy gay? <laughs> Froggy gay confirmed? That's beautiful. Because I could see that. I could see that I could feel that. Also, wait, no, if, if Big if Big is if Big himself is well no, never mind. I shouldn't. Never mind. I am heck of science. That's why I'm anti vax Oh no! I am the ultimate Hell, Junior! Life no! Oh no. Uh-oh. We're in we're in trouble, folks. Oh no. You can't be saying that, Hell Junior. You can't be talking about, like... <laughs> you can't be talking about that. You can't be talking like that, pink baby. Oh, no. Eggman is anti-vax in the streets, vax in the sheets for sure. Oh, you think, like, for like political gain, he positions himself as anti-vax, but privately he is getting himself vaccinated and does believe in it. 
he just is without morals, so publicly he's willing to platform those views and build a platform for himself that is of them. Yeah, real. True. We're learning a lot about these characters. We're learning a lot of unfortunate things about them, but I, I do think these all make sense. I'm trying to find the tier list that we were already making. Where is the one that I was using? Where is the one that I was using to rank these characters on if they were- Oh, I found it! Okay. Interesting. I found- I found the Sonic Gainus tier list. So we could resume. We- we would have to... I- I think we would have to recreate what we've done so far. Uh, on the other one, because yeah, this one only has like a hundred characters versus the big one having like a thousand, so I think it would be worth pivoting uh, to the other one. Although, what do we have? We, I mean, we have some fascinating things on here. I ranked Uncle Chuck? <laughs> I, r I ranked Uncle Chuck? I don't remember doing that. I don't remember sorting Uncle Chuck from the Sonic comics. He's gay, apparently, by the way. Did you know? I didn't know. Apparently I said that, but I don't remember saying that. Also, uh, they, I don't remember this at all. Uh, Sonic and Elise are- sorry, I'll show this to you so you can you can see what craziness I'm talking about. Hold on. Let me get this on screen. Um... This is so funny that I like I've I already have like forgotten everything that I was doing here. So like check this out. Check check it out, y'all. Here we are. Oh, I can make that bigger. <laughs> That'd probably be nice. There we go. Um I have Sonic and Elise in the same tier that is a little gay. So to be clear, by the way, we were doing this uh, like several weeks ago when I was trying to buy some time on stream. We started doing this just to fill time. Uh, but it was sort of fascinating. I was learning a lot of things I didn't know I, I believed. Like, for example, Ray the Flying Squirrel? Hmm. Don't like that. Don't like that guy. And I, I want to clarify, actually, in in like a like kind of in like a in like a he tells jokes and gets mad at you for being offended kind of kind of way. But like these are these like these like he's he's like not telling funny he's telling like jokes you know that's like him that's that's so sad about Ray it's true though it's real <laughs> it's true it's true it's it's a hundred percent true <laughs> anyway this is this is where we're at this is this is, see this tier list is not that great. Is there a category for gay and homophobic? Uh, yes, there is. It's empty so far, but it won't be. This is where we're at. But yeah, this tier list does not have like every character, so I think we should we should migrate these guys over to another one. There's so many tales on there. Yeah, there's a lot of versions of tales. I don't know what that's about. There's like Sonic Boom tales. There's uh, two mean-looking taleses. I don't know who these guys are. Um. Here's like Sonic is like a king. There's a lot of mysterious Archie stuff. So anyway, hang on. I'm gonna I'm gonna hide this for a second and uh, bring up the other one, and then we can recreate it uh, on the other one, and also you know do new stuff. Okay. Almost every single Sonic character ever 1.0 tier list. So check this out. Here's here's the one we should be using. Here's the one that we're using. Sailor Mood? What the 
hell are you talking about? Um, here's the one we're using. There's so many. People make good- I have people make good tier lists. Look at these. They're- they're sorted? They have, like- they have, like, icons to sort them into- into sections. Um... Which is nice. Uh... Uh, there's so many. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah, there's a miscellaneous section at the bottom, which is sort of, uh, questionable, uh, in parts, but it's there, which is nice. Um, yeah, there's Archie versions of every character. Like, we don't, I don't care about, you know, being like, oh, hold on, guys. Like, Archie Tales? That's different from regular Tales, because I don't know. Although I do like this picture of Cheese from Sonic X. Hold up. I do like- I do like this picture a lot. This kind of goes insane? This kind of goes crazy? I think it's awesome that whoever did, made this did did it. It must have taken hours. It must have taken forever, right? It must have it must have taken so long. Look at this. There's so many of them. And they have all of these. <laughs> There's a Barbo. There's a fucking Zusar. <laughs> you know? There's everyone you could ever want. Even Infinite is here. Even, oh, oh man. Oh, Scratch and Grounder are here! Oh, that's so huge, dude. Oh, that's- you don't know how huge that is. That's actually awesome. That's so good. They have Scratch and Grounder. That's great. Coconuts? Oh, dude. I mean, you know we got opinions on these guys. You know we do. Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog is my OTS. One true Sonic. That's so real. God, I love I love these iconic characters like Fire Dragon and Splorg, and don't forget about your friend and mine, Big Grizz. All right, so we need to go back to the other list now and uh, just get these tiers back. So we'll we'll go from the top. So we 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 have yeah. Which is specifically just going to be, uh, Bean and Bark. Uh, we need to find those two and get them up there. It's important that they share their spot. Uh, where are they? There they are, Bean and Bark, they're right next to each other. Alright, lovely. Bean. Because they're, they're going right at the top, because they're like, they have an unbreakable bond. They're, they're, you know... I mean, they're together, obviously. I don't- they might be married, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. I don't really know what their, like, relationship structure is, but I just know that their bond is the strongest. It's- it could be out of anyone ever in this world, you know? It's- it's- it's just simply- simply right. So, that was what was going on there. Then we had the- the- just the- the gay list. These guys are just- these guys are just gay. <laughs> They're they're simply homosexual, uh, so that's their deal. Uh, and that was Metal Sonic, so Sonic Boom Knuckles. So I was lying when I said we weren't going to separate different versions of the same character because Sonic Boom Knuckles is going here. Uh, so is Uncle Chuck and Metal Sonic for some reason. <laughs> okay. Uh, where? Are anyone? Cla my brain. Uh, okay, Metal Sonic Classic. I yeah. I guess Metal Sonic Classic. I don't know what other Metal Sonics we can choose. Cause I don't see. Is there another one for heroes or anything? Oh, there is. Okay, well they can. They can both go there. I guess I feel like it's the same, but yeah. Uh. Okay. Where the hell is Uncle Chuck? Where the fuck is Uncle Chuck? I have not seen Sonic Sat AM, so... 
there he is, Uncle Chuck. Okay, he's gay. So I, I don't know too much about him. I haven't read the Archie comics either, but I think he can go there. Chris, hello. Welcome in to, uh, <laughs> whatever we're doing. All right, where's Sonic Boom? Hold on. I need to walk in and there he is, Knuckles Boom. Let me scoop this man up. Put him there. Lovely. Okay. Then we had the a little gay section. Just gonna be here. This looks awesome. Yeah, we're um we're sorting Sonic characters into their uh sexual slash romantic just attraction, their um their preferences in life. <laughs> Initially, I was doing this one, which had like a few characters, but then I found out there was this list that has way more, so we're just rebuilding it quickly. Bizarrely, I'm putting Modern Sonic and Elise on here. They were the two, they were the two we had so far, which is crazy, but whatever. Such is life. There she is. Okay, great. <laughs> Uh, then we had figuring it out gay, which is a good category. Always important. Uh, okay. And this had... Si wow, I put silver in there. That's interesting. Was this before... This was before I, um... <laughs> this was before... Occurrences. Wasn't it? This was before we, we drilled down into my psyche and found out that I desire that hog. when we put this list together, originally. <laughs> this was the stream before Lost One? Yeah, 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 this was- this was before that. Okay, well... Silver might get- Silver, uh, could get moved at some point, I don't know. Just saying. Um... Oh yeah, Knuckles. Knuckles is figuring it out. Okay, gay and homophobic was empty. Which, uh, chill? That's that's cool. Uh, and it was that color. Oh, oops. I'll put that there. Okay. And then we had, we had the ace arrow because it, it might be the case. Uh. And this was Mighty? Where is Mighty at? Where's that guy? He should be up pretty high, right? Where is he? Why don't I see him? Why don't I see him? There he is, Mighty! There we go. I thought you could blaze the cat on gay and homophobic. Oh, she like could be though. <laughs> she like could be. <laughs> No, I see that a little bit. Blake, I don't want to do that necessarily, but like she could, she could be, you know. There's a there's a world. She calls me slurs. Welcome in Wabbit Online. Strong. I don't love to call out first time chatters, but I do like to mention it when someone comes in swinging. You know, gotta respect it. Gotta respect it. No. No. That's awesome. Um... I feel like I need to, like, get people on, like, call for this. I feel like I need to assemble, like, a... Like a... Like a... a like a... Fucking... What's the word I'm looking for? A council! Yes, a council. I need a council of experts, you know? An, an elite force. An elite force of hog fanatics. Who could who could really debate this with me? Is Ilya awake? <laughs> no, <laughs> definitely not. I'm not. I, I I would not do that to Ilya. Can you change the Pikmin stream to this? <laughs> But, but, but Ray is so excited to play Pikmin with us. I couldn't do that to him. Is the Sonic fan from 06 on this? Oh, Sonic Man? Yeah, yeah, he's on here. Uh, there he is. He's on here. Okay, so we were moving... Who were we moving? We were moving... 
Thank you, Bill. <laughs> Thank you very much. God, I'm fucking emote of all time. Uh, oh, we were doing Ray. That's right. Where are you, Ray? Oh, he looks kind of sweet there. He looks less vile with that crop, you know? Like, this one's so close and it's like, ugh! But that one's less mean and less awful. And then, anyway, we, we need to call. To call is straight. I love her. She is. You really came out swinging okay, against Ray? Hi. Yeah. I'm here to weigh on this list as a gay Sonic <laughs> Council member. <laughs> Thank you, Junior. Thank you. Thank you. I, pre I appreciate that. Can you set heck money to any bits for September just to hear him read out the bonus bits message every time? <laughs> Maybe. I always think of him as my and Mighty having a little thing. Iggy, that's that's sweet, and I think I also can see that. And 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 it's actually it's actually really nice. But for some reason we've ended up with an insane world where Mighty is not interested in any of that, and Ray is just kind of a he's just kind of a fucker. <laughs> But he'll grow out of it, okay? He'll grow out of it. He'll here's the thing. He's young, okay? This is he's going to grow out of it, maybe, at some point. We don't know. But right now he's just spent a little too long in certain communities online, and that's okay. I mean, you know it's not, but like it is. Like it's chill. It's how the world is these days, alright? He's on YouTube too much right now. It's it's okay, Corvubi. Corvubi, don't worry. There's so much more to go. There's so much more to go. All right. Jesus Christ, Chip. Okay, can we rank Chip? Because we can kind of do this in any order. We don't have to be sensical about this. We can do whatever we want. So we, we could rank Chip. Where Where is he? <laughs> where is that little freak? <laughs> where did he go? Chip? Chip! There he is. It's Chip! <sighs> okay. Chip is sort of like... <sighs> mm. Ch okay, Chip, Chip, is, Chip is a little gay. Chip is a little, a little, a, a little gay. I think. Maybe. Is that crazy? Because I think it's like, okay, it's like, he's mostly, like, mostly his attraction is towards, is towards women, I think, Chip, uh, or, you know, um, but also Chip is like, he's really, like, he, like, really is down to, like, explore himself, you know, he, like, really wants to be, like, like, <laughs> I was about to say he really wants to be woke, which is not related to who he is internally and his attractions and whatever, because that's not related to that. But anyway, it was just, it's important to know, okay? It's, like, important. It's, like, part of it, <laughs> okay? <laughs> like, he's just, but he's, like, a little annoying about it, you know? He's, like, a little annoying about all of Sonic it. Sonic Man is over-enthusiastic to ally. Well-meaning, but you feel like he's overcompensating for using slurs in his past. Whoa. Oh my god. Perhaps. Perhaps that's actually true. Do we need a bi section or is that included? Uh, oh, bi is included in anyone that's gay that's included. That's how we're doing this, by the way. Maybe that wasn't clear, but that's how we're doing this. Like, it's it's sort of just about percentages, actually. So maybe maybe there should just be like a bi section, but I think that if I put a bi section in, that makes it more confusing. I think rather than less, right? You know, I think that I think yeah, I think that's what we have to yeah. 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 Listen, we're cool. We get it, okay? We understand. It's uh it's it's nebulous, it's uh it's a it's a it's a spectrum, it's not, you know, uh umbrella term, you know, whatever. It's cool, okay? Anyway, Chip like he's here. <laughs> chip's chip's here, alright. That's what I believe. Would it be really awful if I put a deer in that was this? Would it be would it be unforgivable? <laughs> would it be unforgivable? <laughs> Cause I just think like that's what I'm trying to say. You know? Like it's fine. Like he's just he's really excited to own that part of himself, okay? Like Chip's really excited to to like 
Chip's really fucking pumped that he's a little gay, okay? Which is fine! It, he has every right to be. That's awesome, and he should be proud. But also, like, it's a certain kind of person, okay? And it's- Chip is that. Just so you know. It's- but it's fine. <laughs> it's cool. I'm not like, it's not, you know, it's not wrong, it's fine. But <laughs> you- could you sort your chatters into these categories next? I think that it caused no problems. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you all whether you're gay or not. That'll go down swimmingly. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Who do we want to rank? Who's who's important to rank? I feel like, dude, there's so many crazy characters. A little little boy. Who who are who are you? God, that game is insane. Black Doom? Ooh, wait. Black Doom. Uh... Black Doom is a fruit? Yeah, I kind of, I kind of agree. I think he's just- he just is, right? I don't think there's a world where he's not. I think- I think he's- I think, yeah. I think straight up, yeah. That just- that just seems- seems right to me. The gay and homophobic? I don't think he is. Uh, or though, although maybe it is like we were saying about, um, whoever we were saying that about before, where, like, maybe, maybe, maybe politically he is that way, I don't know. Gay, oh yeah, gay republic, we need gay republican category. Wait, so true. Hold on. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Uh, like a, like a gay Republican. I'm not American, so I don't really, whatever, but there, okay. Yeah. Sure. Well, I, I should say, I should just say gay conservative, is what I should say. Which is somehow different than, we already have gay and homophobic. I don't know how that's different, but, but somehow it is. Some, somehow it, it is different, okay? It is, alright? <laughs> It's active versus passive. Real, true, 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 true. Okay. Dude, we're learning so much. This is awesome, I love learning. Learning is hype. Learning learning is cool, learning is fun. Proud, oh, proud. Oh, so true, so true. So true. Uh, okay. And then... Yeah, the order of the tiers is kind of nonsense, but we might shuffle them around later. But for now, I, I don't want to worry too much, because there's just going to be more and more tiers, you know? I can't stop the tiers from coming. Because <laughs> I'm so sad. <laughs> oh no! Snively! I don't know why I yelled at Snively. <laughs> but I did. There he is. I don't know where I want to put him, I just... I mean, he's just like a gay man, right? I think? Or is he? No! Mm. <laughs> hold on, hold on! Hold on, hold on. No, 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 okay, there's a new, there's a new, there's a new tier. This is important, this is important. Add a row below. Add a row below. Check this out. Wait. That guy... isn't gay? You know, you know when you think, you know when you're like really sure about like celebrity or something and then you're like surprised, like it turns out like he has like a wife and kids at home and it's like, it's like real even, it isn't even, it's not even like a beard thing, you know, like crazy. And like he's just actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 100%. And like he's not even like, he's not even like bi in any way either, he's like a 100% straight man, but he's just, he's just very, uh, you know. He has a certain demeanor. Um. <laughs> Thank you, non-existent pumpkin. Very good. Very good. I don't think we are gonna get two characters in the same tier again. No, we will. We will. Let's find some. Let's find some some beautiful straight people. 
to put in the straight tier. Just to just to get that done. Um let's go who do who do we have? Who do we have? Who do we have? Uh you know I'm feeling Good morning, Benji! Welcome to the gay Sonic character tier list. Let's actually hang on. Let me add a text to stream for that to say what we're doing. Sonic characters. Are they gay? <laughs> Wahoo! Uh, and then, then we'll, we'll add the awesome rainbow filter to this in a second. Sonic characters? Are they gay? Filters, shaders, from file, rainbow, uh, light to image, there we go. Beautiful. Slow that down a bit. Alright. There's no bite here? No, it's an umbrella term. It's an umbrella term. Come on, we're, we're woke here, all right? I, we don't see the, the need to cause confusion by trying to do that here. Although, uh, you know, I mean, kind of it would make sense. Well, I think it would just make this more difficult is, is mainly the thing. I think it would simply cause problems for, for, for ranking. Think of how many new tiers that would add? I mean, that would add some new tiers, which would be quite awesome. I do I do love to add tiers. That is kind of an appealing uh, angle that you're pitching it to me with, but... We'll see, maybe. Maybe maybe we do it. I don't know, though. Because then it's like, when I have like a little gay, like, what, what, you know, what do we do with that, right? I don't know. It's okay. It's fine. Because, like, a little, to be clear, like, a little is, like, they don't, like, necessarily identify themselves as, as gay. Like, they mostly consider themselves as, like, as, like, straight, probably. But also, but also it's, like, you know, they're, like, maybe, they, you know, they, they play around. Maybe something, maybe something happens. Maybe they, maybe they sometimes, they feel things they didn't expect, you know? It's, um, it's complicated, all right? I'm, I'm straight, but it's okay if it's Eggman. Yeah, you know. Who's gay but in the closet? I think that's the figuring it out tier. How can I be woke when I'm so slenny? Uh, got them. Uh, what else is funny? Uh, chemical is in the water. Senior, you're tight five. Looking good. Looking great. But <laughs> like, we all know Sonic is in love with Tails. We're not allowed to say that here. We, we, <laughs> well, perhaps, perhaps. Anyway. Um, um, it's true though. Yeah, well, that is true. It is, it is true, but you know, why would you conceal the truth? I've ne you know, I've never had to deal list of odds so far in my illustrious streaming career. So, so far, so far I've retained some dignity. So, Tails is in love with Sonic, but I don't know about the other way around. I mean, that's also true. That's also true. And also, well, you know... <laughs> bring up the Tails hiding behind Sonic picture? I... we... <laughs> we can't... we can't do that. We can't do that right now. I can't bring up that picture. I can't bring up that picture. We can't bring it up right now. We can't bring up the picture. It is an awesome official piece of art, though. Sorry, I'm just looking at uh, these characters. John O. Hedge. Can we put John O. Hedge in a tier? I don't know who John O. Hedge is, but I like his picture. I like also that he looks like an echidna, but he has O. Hedge in the name, which seems to imply that he's, uh. You know. A hedgehog? He could be in gay and homophobic. That's fine. That's awesome. Uh. Dude, there's so many. There's so many. 
Okay, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta focus. We gotta focus. We gotta, we gotta get back to it. We gotta go to characters we actually know, and we can like form feelings about feelings, opinions, etc. Um. <laughs> Jono Edge is a baby. <laughs> oh, he is. Wait, he is a baby. Wait, is that like? Isn't that? Isn't that fucking? Is that like? Doesn't Knuckles get like a a baby between alternate Sonic and female Knuckles? Never mind, that is not what I was thinking. That's crazy. That's awesome. Unlike most crossbred Mobians, John has very few obvious hedgehog traits about him, inheriting phenotype mostly from his mother. Wow. Well, that's some information that I'm glad to know. Oh, dude, the president? Figuring it out straight. <laughs> Have you seen the picture he has of, of Sonic and Shadow? He thinks he maybe he's like having doubts. He's like he's like he needs to think about some things. He needs to stare out the window of the Oval Office and be like, wait, how do I feel? But it actually, it's just it's normal. I mean, everything's normal, but you know. Okay. Uh, main, let's do main cost. Let's do main cost to get our baseline. Hold on. Let's let's do main cost. This is important. Let's do. I mean, um. Wait, I haven't done knuckles art. These are different. Why is dream cost a separate category? That's so confusing. Okay, put him back down. That's weird. Uh, Amy. Oh yeah, I haven't put Amy in. Amy needs her like aggressively supportive category. I forgot. Cause she's she's an aggressive ally. That's right. Not everything is normal. My orientation is messed up and twisted. <laughs> oh yeah? A aggressive ally. Uh straight. Okay, there we go. Make it a different shade of blue. There we go. Okay. And that's Amy. That's Amy, I would say. I think. But, uh, but Amy also could be in, like, a... We need, we need, we need more of a, um... We need more of a, like, uh... Wh whatever happens, happens kind of tier. We... Oh, we don't, we don't have, like... We need, we need, like, you know, like, not labeling it, but it's, like, it's chill, you know? <laughs> Amy outs you by correcting random people that use the wrong pronouns. Yeah, that's Amy Rose, but we love her, so it's fine. But also, we have to just, like, sigh and, like, facepalm a bit, you know? Amy and Blaze are gay for each other. I mean... It's a be it's a beautiful thing to believe in. I'll give you that. But this is this is my this is my messy and, and real <laughs> real tier list. This is capturing the true nuance of the world. This isn't idealized. This isn't this isn't to satisfy my whims and my wishes. This is this is the fact, you know. <laughs> We're not- we're not shipping anyone here. We're just- we're- well, you know, that's just real. Um, this is- this is just how it is. That's what we're doing here, okay? I feel like Froggy is non-binary and ace. That could- you know, honestly, I see that for Froggy. I see that for Froggy, 100. It, this would get too messy if we tried to complicate it by including, uh, <laughs> gender? <laughs> on any level but like that does impact things we might need to make special tiers for some of them just we might need to we might we might need to make special tiers for some of them and be like <laughs> we need to gender why <laughs> right oh no by uh gerald robotnik was gay by the way that's that's a complicated thing about him. He was gay. A lot of people don't know that. Oh, uh, okay. Nice, nice. Next, we got
gun commander. Uh, he is. Oh, this is the guy with hetero heterochromia in his eyes. His eyes are different colors, and he desperately wants to kill Shadow. Uh, and he's like, he's like not figuring it out. He's like, he's like actively in denial, and he's gay for for Shadow, and it's like a hate thing. You know, strongly in denial, gay. Oh, strong, strongly in denial. Straight is like a crazy category that we could have. He might be. I guess that it, he might be gay and homophobic, but I, I just want to give him his own tier because it's funny. Because <laughs> it's funny. Can we get Lord Regis on here? Yes. Lord Regis is just straight. He's just your grandpa, but we love him. Okay. I hope that's okay. Where's Where's Lord Regis? Although actually, he could be kind of a um. Mm, no, no, he's just straight. He's not one of those perverted older gentlemen. I don't think. Lord Lord Regis is not uncomfortably approaching me in the bar when I am 18 years old. He didn't do that. That was other kinds of guys. That wasn't Lord Regis. He was he was chill and also not interested. Um, <laughs> for the for the record, <laughs> just just clearing it out, just clarifying, you know. <laughs> I think he's gay, but from before you could be out, and he's just content with his lot in life. Maybe, maybe, maybe. That's I mean that's kind of that's kind of uh, you know right in its way. Also, where is he? He's somewhere on here. Here are the other. Where did Lord Regis go? I we we know he's on this. We've checked this before. I think right. He's not here with Juke of Soliana and Sonic Man. Is he not here? Did I like grab him and drop him somewhere? Did I did I lose him somewhere? <laughs> Lord Regis! Lord Regis, where did you go? Are you like buried in like a bonus category? I'm scared to look at the bonus categories because the final one is kind of foul, but that's fine. Just don't acknowledge it. Um I, I swear last time we checked for Regis. I swear last time we did this we looked for Regis, but maybe not. I guess he's not there. I guess there's no there's no Lord Regis. That's crazy. Damn. <laughs> Can we use someone in place of him? I'm sure he'll turn up. Hopefully he will. Because I, I would have loved to have just included him, you know? Alright. Well, we can do Juke of Soliana. He's just a- he's just a guy. He- he's just- he's just the guy. He's just- <laughs> Wait! Oh, guys, they're straight together, and they're both- they're, they're the glowing orbs that talk to you. And they're together in the straight tier. They, they're the same role in Sonic 06 and, and Adventure. Wow, beautiful. Incredible. Makes you think. Can Omo Chow be with them too? That's a, that's a good question. I think Omo Chow... <sighs> Omo Chow is like... Is... Okay, here's the thing about Omo Chow. He's, he's not a homo chow. No. But homo chow, it's like. This is this is I'm I'm like shooting from the hip here. This is my insane like call, alright? Omo chow, romantically, he's only looking for women. But in the bedroom, I think in the bedroom he would he would do he would do all sorts of things. He would he would be with anyone. He's just a he's just a he's just a real freak in there. So it's it's not about that for him. It's not about his preference in there for him. It's just about what he, the things that go on in there, which I shan't say. Heavens no. That's nice for him. But uh, anyway, now my question is, what the fuck category do I make for that? <laughs> like what do I? What, what do I write? What do I include? <laughs> what, what? A little gay? No, but it's like different. <laughs> it's like different though. <laughs> it's like, it's like different. 
You can just transcribe that whole thing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Protect Anna. She knows the orientation. <laughs> um, ad Adarobolo. Okay, we gotta write. Hold on. So it's like straight romantically, but but sex has nothing to do with orientation. So in the bedroom, it's like whatever, you know. <laughs> Just, just trying to, just trying to do, do, do some stuff, okay? <laughs> All right, great. <laughs> and get him in there. Nice. <laughs> Please tweet this list when it's done. I will. <laughs> this category can't be that tall. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Well, why not? Well, <laughs> shall be the only one in this category. Uh, maybe? <laughs> oh, I love streaming. This is great. Ball hog! Just be gay, I think. Straight up. I don't I don't think it's more complicated than that. I don't think it's more complicated than that. Silver still isn't there? Silver's here. He's in figuring it out. Which and uh, he's gay apparently. Maybe do we have a buy category? Oh, we'll figure it out later, it's fine. It doesn't matter for now. Because if there is a bi category, we actually, I realized we would only need one that's up here next to gay. And then a little gay could include it. And then figuring it out could also just, like, include, but, you know, it's chill. Okay. Anyway. <sighs> Alright. Um... Kenster and Mr. Piggy Mouse? No, that was Baby Iggy and Mr. Piggy Mouse. <laughs> Thank you, Washa. I hope you rest well. I hope this has given you much to think about. Um, is that Twink from the Murder of Sonic on here? Oh yeah, I never played that. So I need chat guidance on this one, because that guy, like, is here, I think. Uh, hold on. Yeah, this guy? Barry? Is that the one? There's also this this sort of milfly figure I'm noticing here, and this awesome guy. I, I, I never, um, did play this, so I don't know. Is there- is there a strong opinion about this- this fellow? Is there something that must be said? Conductor and the wife are canon straight? I mean, I suppose so. He's gay gay. Okay. He's gay gay. <laughs> no worries. Can we get the business on Scratch and Grounder? I've been- I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking. I've been- I've been pondering. I've been thinking. And Scratch and Grounder? Ooh. They might need a they might need a special tier. They might need a special tier. Y you guys might hate me for this, but I think they might need a special tier. Okay. And it's a tier that just has them in it. And it's like outwardly they're straight, 
like they're only they're only gay for one another really and are they even gay or do they just like doing stuff together i don't know but they're doing but they're doing stuff together okay i need you to know this they're it's not no it's not like stealth they're they're <laughs> they're roommates true true hold on hold on wait true <laughs> add row buff uh. <laughs> Could be the weight, aren't they straight tier? No, 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 because they... Oh, wait. No, 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 they're, they're, they, they have a special situation that's unique to them. They have a special... They have a special bond that they don't tell anyone about, and they get really mad at, at one another if one of them lets it slip. But then it's fine. They go home and they they close the bedroom door and they sort it out. It's chill. Um, don't worry about it. Uh, sorry. There's so many characters I, I like keep losing where I'm at. Uh, Grounder. There we go. Grounder. But then, you know what's funny? Like, they're they're so, like, coy and weird about it, and, like, their, their attitude towards that stuff is so strange. But then Coconut, he's actually just, he's actually just gay. He's, like, out. Like, he's, like, their, he's, like, the third wheel to their sort of mischievous situation in that show, I suppose. Like, he's the only other guy who's, like, causing a ruckus. But he's actually just, like, out and gay. So it's, like, you know, they just have such, like, complexes about it all that they can't be, like... Out, you know, it's uh, it's, Ball you know, hog. it's complicated. Ball hog, yeah. Robin Screech, Je Jesus, they have there's such foul characters in these things, so awful. Oh, oh god, do we want to do all the like, all the like, uh sidekick henchman guys because there's also dingo and sleet dingo and sleet are the same as scratch and grounder but for sonic underground which means they're very weird uh they might also be they could share the same tier i don't really remember enough about them but i think they could probably just share the same tier I think that's actually okay. I was gonna- th I thought that would be a Scratch and Grounder only tier, but... I think their situation is, is you know, the same, so it's fine. <laughs> this is- this is good. This is- I really think we're, like, figuring this out. Like, look! If we zoom out... Look- look- <laughs> look at the tier list! It, it's looking really health- Whoa, so many are in gay tier. We gotta, we gotta get some more in any of the others. <laughs> we, we, got, we gotta get some more in any other tier. <laughs> we gotta get some more who are just straight. Because straight and gay should be the two tiers that have, like, a lot of people in them. You know? <laughs> okay. Let's, let's get on this. Main cast? Yeah. Who else is straight in the main cast? Ooh. We have like seven different definitions of straight as the thing. <laughs> well, yeah, but same for gay, sort of. Kind of, a bit. So sort of. K kind of. Is F oh, Fang the sniper, Knack the weasel. Huh? I mean, look at how, like, he's like wearing that hat. You know, who does he think he is? You know? <laughs> hmm. I don't, like, I don't know. Hat equals gay. I'm sort of thinking hat equals gay. Hat might equal gay, sorry. <sighs> I feel like a lot of the main cast are not straight. The main cast is not a very, is not a very straight section of the cast. Although, 
no, he could be. You know what? He could. Well, I might move him, but I'm gonna say he's straight because I'm I'm undecided, and I just feel like they need some friends in the straight tier right now. So he can go in. Gamma. Gamma's. Gamma. Gamma is a bird. <laughs> this is true. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about Gamma. I can't. I, it's too difficult. Uh, he might be gay. I thought you were talking to me. No. Oh no, Chris. No, 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 Chris. No, I'm talking about E102. Apologies. Um. Shit, man. This is tough. This is really. This is really tough. Metal Knuckles is straight. Don't ask me why. <laughs> Don't ask me why the robot is straight. It's true. If Chris were a Sonic character, where would he go in this tier list? That's messed up. You can't ask me that. Although, wait, where's Chris Thorndike? Hold on. Where is, um... There he is. <laughs> there he is. Iggy, are you are you displeased with my with my random metal knuckles placement? <laughs> I don't really know why I did that. I just I, it just happened. I'm afraid. I was just shocked. It's just a hot take for me. I mean, he does seem really not straight. I just thought it would be interesting just narratively in this world, if somehow it was the case, you know? Okay, okay. Iblis, straight. Iblis, there's, there's no, there's nothing interesting about Iblis. Iblis, Solaris, whatever, man. St straight, get him in there. Not to say that being straight is boring, it's epic. But, uh, for them? Who care, you know? Uh... Cheese? Cheese? Does cheese have desires? I don't know. I don't want to think about that right now. <laughs> I'm not ready to think about that. It's- it's- we can't go there just yet. Cheese is straight. I need to zoom and enhance on this guy. Cheese is, cheese is straight, you think? Wow. Welcome in, Bridget Kisser. Thank you for your Sonic anecdote. Shadow the Hedgehog is the most awesome family-friendly game of all time, though I will say that much. He wears a little bow tie and is devoted to a woman. True, that is sort of, that is sort of damning. Well, not damning. Just... It says a lot. That's a great read. Thank you. That's cleared. That's cleared some stuff up for me. Okay. I feel good. I feel like we can go back to just doing whatever now. I feel like we've 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 balanced things out. We've found some more some more bearings, uh, as it were. Dark Chow is gay and homophobic. <laughs> can we really be ranking Dark and Hero Chow? Maybe we can. Actually, yeah. No, Dark Dark Chow. Dark Chow is uh, gay and homophobic. Where even is that tier? There it is. And then Hero Chow is straight and homophobic? With Ray? That feels messed up. No, they're both gay and homophobic, actually, together. There we go. They're actually the same. They're actually the same. Bio Lizard? Ooh. Bio Lizard is oh here's here's a horrible tragedy okay this is actually really sad this is actually really sad Bio Lizard is figuring it out okay but like Bio Lizard is like is like doomed and like like a poor creature that is like fated to like perish so like you know the 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 life it could have had will never come to be but it's um I'm I'm sorry anyway uh it's really sad I know. That's Bio Lizard, though. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm I'm just like a I'm I'm like divining like fate right now. I'm not deciding this. This is this is just how it is. This is just real, okay? 
If it were up to me, BioLizard would live a beautiful, lovely, long life, okay? And he would really get to find himself. And, and he would... Oh, oh man. It'd be, it'd be, it'd be so special, so incredible. But we can't, we can't think about that right now. Vector is the most wife guy of all time. Vector the crocodile, eh? Uh -huh. No, I don't know if that's true. Oh, maybe? He's devoted to the computer room. Vector is gay and misogynist. Ooh. Wow. Wow. And now there, there is something we hadn't even factored in. That's a tear. That's that is a, that is a read. But I think I think you're right. Oh yeah. Oh god. And before he really knew that he was, he had that figured out the way he would treat women. You know, it just it. Oh, it's unfortunate. It's it's sad. Vector loves Milves. Oh, that's what they try to tell you. That's what they try to tell you. But actually. I don't know if it's the case. Um, okay, we're gonna we have to make a tier. Sorry, he's in proud gay conservative right now, which is not where I wanted him to be. Uh, this is this is gay misogynist. Iggy, Iggy, don't feel shame. Iggy, you were you. It's okay. This had to happen. This had to happen. It's it's real. It's, it's real. Your conscience should be clear. I mean, listen, I've, <laughs> I'm, I'm saying some shit today, all right? It's fine. We're all, we're all speaking our greatest truths right now. Okay. Big is, big is gay. Big is, uh, big might be a proud gay conservative <laughs> based on what we said earlier, or he might just be gay. I don't know. Do we go down this dark path with Big? Do we assign him such a such a wicked lot in life? It's it's rough. It's a bummer. But it, it might be. It, it's you can see it. Big is not conservative. Well, he's not. Con oh, yeah, I guess conservative isn't right. He's not that far gone. I just think he would have some questionable beliefs. He would lar because he's like very easygoing. But I think he also maybe doesn't question some things like enough. And, and he accepts stuff. And he has some things he hasn't really interrogated, you know. But maybe it's chill. He's being gay. It's fine. It's cool. Hmm. Pondering. Now, Froggy. Froggy, uh, the lovely frog. <laughs> I can see a world where Fro where Froggy is the aggressive ally somehow, <laughs> which is crazy, because he's just a, he's just a frog. <laughs> but like, <laughs> like don't, 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 don't you see? Don't you see it? But also, I don't know. He like runs away from Big though, so it's like kind of weird. Like that doesn't really feel right. I guess he like wouldn't be running away if he was really this, you know. I don't know. It was just a gut feeling. We'll put it in. I think you're right. Thank you. Thank you for believing in me. I was gonna suggest is a frog tier. I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to say that frogs can't be uh, gay or straight or have love in their hearts or lust in their hearts or or any such desires. He can be in bullhog tier. <laughs> No, that's fucking crazy. Someone else should go in Bullhog, though. Someone else aside from Bullhog should be up here. And we'll find out who somewhere along our journey. Can Hawk Wolf be gay? Whoa. This guy? Oh, yeah, these guys are the guys in, what, Tails Sky Patrol or whatever? They're all pretty charming. They got these very delightful designs thanks to uh, the comics, right? They're, they're pretty awesome guys. 
I don't I don't know enough about I haven't read like the story they're in or played the game, so I don't I don't know well enough where they ought to be. But they might be gay. Um Thank you, Rojo. Thank you for the good luck wishes. I'm trying my best. We haven't ranked tails yet. We haven't sorted tails yet, because I'm scared too, by the way. I'm like I'm frightened too. Cause I, I I don't know where you put tails. Tails is a little guy. <laughs> wait, wait, Jam, you're kind of right. This guy does have the kind of look to him where it's like, wait, this guy isn't gay. Yeah, no, true. He should go there. <laughs> I don't know about his personality, but he looks like a guy where you like, you look at him, you're like, he's really gay, but maybe he's not. Heavy and bomb, another roommate situation. I think yeah, Sonic is full of that uh, that uh that situation. Easy, easy, easy roommates. Good call, good call. But tails, tails figuring it out, gay. Yeah, but it's also like he he wants Sonic, but does he want to be like? Does he want to be like Sonic? Like. Tails is Tails is so complicated. Tails is the most complicated character in Sonic. <laughs> you you may not think this, but if you if you have the sight, you can see it. Yeah, maybe maybe he's just figuring it out. Sonic is Tails transition goal. Now that that is sort of real as fuck. That is sort of real as fuck and I was thinking that, but also it's like you know, like, again, we we can't be putting like a gender like axis on this. We like we 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 can't we can't we can't start getting into that. You know, we can't start. It's too much. It's it'd be it'd be insane. But like, it's very easy to play Sonic Adventure and like get that read. It's like it's crazy it because like Tails. If you play the characters in order, Tails is like the first one that like goes to the like Echidna Post Zone world, whatever. And you talk to all the guys there, and they're like, "Oh, I love being like a manly guy that goes to war." And it's like, "Whoa, <laughs> this is crazy, is it?" And it like feels like that's like dialogue for Tails' campaign. It turns out everyone gets that dialogue, but like, it feels most relevant to his arc. It's crazy stuff. Anyway. It's crazy. Uh... What do you think about Werehog? I mean, we're going, we're going real, like, fucking, like, fanfic territory if I'm like, oh, when Sonic becomes the Werehog, He's under the influence of the the pheromones that make him gay. <laughs> like, like we can't we can't put him in another category. That's crazy. You know, we we can't. Can <laughs> you make that a category? <laughs> I mean, Omega Verse category. I don't know enough about it. Tell you the truth. View category gay as fuck! Thank you, Iggy. That that could be important. You know what? No, I, I don't know. This is i I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Insane no. Uh <laughs> Well, I mean I mean I mean I mean, <laughs> you know. We that's enough. Okay, all right. Let's not let's not get too excited, but you know, feels feels appropriate. <sighs> all right, Maria. I Maria. I don't know. M Maria is probably just straight. <laughs> She's just Maria. I don't know, man. She was a child. She got shot. It's rough. Maria is she isn't gay. <laughs> Who is looking at this nine-year-old and being like she's gay? Well, I mean, I guess 
the only difference between her and any other character is she's a human child and not like a creature. Um, straight and homophobic? <laughs> wait, wait, that kind of goes crazy. Is that too messed up to do though? Does that does that pervert Shadow's uh, <laughs> beautiful backstory? Wait, but her grandpa is gay. No, you're right. She, I, her, her grandpa is gay. I forgot. Where's Where's Gerald? Good call. Good call. She would She wouldn't be raised that way. Good point. Good point. I thought she would be sheltered, but actually, never mind. Never mind. She She knows many truths of the world, and she can show real kindness to Shadow because of this. Also, okay, so Shadow the Hedgehog, right? Like what's up? Like what's up with him? I th I think like I, I I don't know. He's sort of like too busy pursuing the truth, you know. Does he have time for any of this? Maybe the gayest of them all. Mean. <laughs> we do we do need more mean gay categories. I feel bad putting every character in gay. I mean, it might be true. It just might be true, you know? This music really adds to this? Yeah, I feel like I should- I was gonna swap it at some point. We've been listening to the same song for two hours, which it's a great song. It really works for two hours long, or two hours straight, but yeah. Um... Yeah, number I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, Shadow can be, like, a little gay. Shadow and Sonic could both be a little gay. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's actually- that's crazy. Shadow is gay but not interested in romance? I can see him believing in romance, though. Shadow is my bisexual king. That's so real. He's so com he's just so complicated. He's, ju he's just so complex. I don't know. Also, yeah, if we make a mean gay category, Espio has to be in it. 100%. 1,000%. We could do that. We could we could have mean gay. Let's have mean gay. I want I want a mean gay category. It's cuz it's it's different to all these other things. Then I just want to be able to put Espio in it. Cuz it's so obviously him. Get him in there. Hell yeah. You could also put Blaze in- no, Blaze is nice. Well, uh, no, she's like, cold, but she's nice, actually. It's different. She's nice. Honey the cat? I don't know anything about her. Mean gay. <laughs> Easy. Look at her. Look at those two. Can you imagine them ch chatting away? Oh, come on now. They would be pointing, they would be laughing. Easy. Absolutely. Mephilus is a mean gay? Mmm. Old Mephilus? Uh, is he? Mm. No, I don't think he... Mm. No, he is. The way, the way he, like, tries to fuck with Shadow, you know, he is. For sure. I was gonna say, like, he's actually, like, deeper than that, but, like, no, he's not. He- in- in Sonic 06, he is just like, oh, Shadow, everyone hates you, haha, like, <laughs> you know? <laughs> but, like, no, he's just that easy. Yeah, mean gay. Simple. And he's trying to join with straight Iblis to become straight Solaris. <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's true, though, because, like, Solaris is void of any of the personality of, like, Mephilus or Iblis, really. Just kind of bland. So it feels right to me. Um... <laughs> where are we- where are we at? What are we doing? There's so many. There's so fucking many, dude. I'm trying to search for one that, like, gives me a strong feeling. Can we get homophobic retro Amy? Ah! Uh, maybe? I don't know if I believe in it, though. 
Where, where is one where I have strong feelings? Where, where I say. God, there's all these cartoon freaks. I just don't know about them, you know? There's just, there's so many of them. Good Lord. We haven't done Rouge yet. How do you feel about Scourge? Uh, the green evil Sonic? I feel good about him. <laughs> but we haven't done Rouge yet, that's true. I mean, Rouge is just gay, right? Mean gay? Is she though, actually? Like, is she actually mean gay? Or is she just gay? Like, I don't know if she is mean. Is that crazy? Rouge's by That's what the gay category is for. Keep up. <laughs> They're fucking anyone and everyone, potentially. Or not fucking anyone. They might not be fucking all, but they might still be gay. Um, I think she's nice. I think, because she like, she like teases like knuckles and stuff, but that's like different, right? That's like different, because like, when, when is she ever, like, mean to anyone? She's like, not. She's so nice. She's so nice. No, she's so nice. <laughs> guys, guys, she's so nice. She's so nice, obviously, of course. There she is. You don't, Iggy, you don't know? Iggy, how do you feel? How do you talk to, talk to me? How do you feel? I want to believe she's nice. Do you think- do you think it's surface level? Do you think behind your back that she's gossiping? And she's catty, and she- she doesn't, like, mean the thing she says to you? And she says something to you that seems nice, but actually her friends that she's with at the time, like, know that she doesn't really mean it by the way she says it. And they're, like, trying to hold in their laughter, and it's like... Do you think? That's- I mean, that's- that's like... I- oof. It's probably so nice if you're real friends. Mmm. Oof. She could be- she might be mean. God, I don't know. I don't want to- I don't want her to be mean. I don't want to believe in that. I don't want to believe in that, but it could be the case. As- as horrible and sad as it is. <laughs> She's in Girl Boss? Mm, I'm leaving her there for now, but you've given me some things to think about. Because it, it was easy to imagine that scenario. Um, cream? I don't know. Cre cream? I don't. I don't know. She might just be straight. <laughs> cream might just be straight. I think. Yeah. Cream is nice. This is true. She is very- she's very nice. She's very nice. I don't think she's like in the aggressive alley. I, I think she is more chill, maybe. Or is just not really thinking about it as much as- as Amy is. Because I think Amy... Well, I've only put Sonic in a little gay. But if Sonic was like... Amy, I... like... I like... <laughs> I like men. <laughs> and, he, and he really had to like think about that for a while. I think she would, she would, like, find it in herself to put off her advances, um, and she would, she would try to refocus her efforts because she has such devotion to him. She would try to, uh, hone in on, on being some kind of an ally instead, you know. She would course correct a little too strongly. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just- I'm reading Iggy's more- more full thoughts on Rouge. It's very- it's, it's true, it's compelling. I don't know. Ice cream vent- sorry, yeah, we keep- we- people keep mentioning, or at least you keep mentioning the ice cream vendor. Where is that guy? Ice cream vendor is gay, yeah. Sure. Get him- get him up there. I don't- I don't know who he is, but I- we've all seen the guy that looks like that, okay? Um...
he's from Unleashed. No, 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 it's all good. He he was he needed to be ranked. It's important. Oh, why is the image of Trip without her fun helmet? I don't like this design nearly as much as the one where she has her fun helmet. I didn't play Superstars, but I really like when she has the fun helmet, and I don't like when she doesn't have it. Also, she's gay, by the way. I've decided. Gut, gut read, gut, gut feeling. Not complicated. Maybe figuring it out. Maybe in figuring it out tier. Cause like that's like her thing is that she's like clumsy or whatever, you know? <laughs> so I feel like she shouldn't have like a fully formed sense of self. <laughs> I don't know. Vanilla. Everyone? How do you feel about Vanilla the Rabbit? How do you feel? Do you have feelings? Do you have opinions? Whatever they are. Word them carefully. Vanilla is a straight swinger. Yeah, okay, well, yeah. Straight, okay, yep. I think... I think this all makes sense. Swinger makes sense, yeah. She's the only one in the Sonic universe to be confirmed as having had straight sex. We don't know that. We don't know what kind of sex it was. I just, I wish I knew her. <laughs> like to understand better or just you wish you knew her? You wish you had her in your life as an acquaintance or friend? too close to this case to form an opinion. <laughs> Interesting. We could- I don't know if we need, a, we need a swinger tier, it's not really relevant, but like, we could have it. Cream the rabbit is a virgin birth. We get- we get good chat messages here. Can burning blaze be mean gate? You think she gets meaner? I'd be messed up. I'd be fucked up. I see, I see. Just, just to understand. Just to understand. Fair, fair. Does Cream not have a canon father? I don't think so. You just see her mother. And people have feelings about that. <laughs> oh, they do. Okay, so we haven't done Eggman. Hey, so we haven't done Eggman, okay? We haven't done Eggman. And hey, why don't we have a little- uh, we have a little gay tier. We don't have a little straight. Can we have that? Can we have that? We should have that. We should have that. Iggy, I can't believe Automod held back you saying gay with five Y's. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I don't know. I think Eggman might- I think he's, like, very, like, bi to me. I think- I think he's bi. But I don't know. Like, that's chill. But I just want to clarify my belief on the matter. Now- no, it is! I just- it stands out to me in this case, okay? It's, like, important, alright? It's- it's- if, okay, listen. It's still the same, it's just, uh... <laughs> Anyway, I think I, I do want to add a tier that's a little straight, right? <laughs> Although a little straight is going to be placed very weirdly, so it's fine actually. It can just be a little a little gay, but a little gay is different than a little straight, you know, because it's the percentages. It's this is the percentages. But Eggman is obsessed with Sonic anyway. You slice it. That's true. That's true. That's true. And this is why him and Tails become best friends in Ring Racers. They can bond over this fact. Okay. We haven't done Omega? Oh, we haven't. Omega? 
Omega is... Ooh. I mean, he's just gay, right? Omega's married to violence? I think he might be figuring... No, he's not figuring out. He knows. He could be a proud gay conservative, actually. He could be a proud gay conservative. Or, no, he's not a misogynist. Well, he could be. They're kind of hand in hand. He, would also, he could also just be a mean gay. But I think he's in one of them. No, he's... No, he's gay. He's cool. Okay, here's the thing. If he's in whatever tier Rouge is in, okay? Because, like... If she's mean, he's mean. And they're doing it together. Right? Like... But if he's not mean, then she's not mean. So, yeah. Dude, I, lo I love doing science. I love figuring this shit out. Are there any, like, super important characters we haven't done yet? Are there any... Like, we've done, like, all the main, like, cost, like, playable guys, right? I think so. Charmy? Oh shit, Charmy! Where's Charmy B? There he is. Manic is important. No, he's not. <laughs> Manic is not important. Charmy B. Charmy B. Charmy B. <laughs> um. Straight? Is that crazy? Cause you wait. He's a, he's a wait. That guy isn't gay. That's what he is. Got him locked in. Easy. He's homophobic, but he can get better. Mm. Aggressive ally or annoying gay? No, I think he's. I think you think he's gay because of his because he's a he because of his effeminate manner. <laughs> but actually, he's not. But maybe, maybe, maybe he's been thrown, maybe he has doubts even. He's like the president of the United States. It's fine. We don't have to agree on this. He's going here though. Okay, that's like every main character like done now, I think. So that's huge. That's huge. The, t the list is looking healthy. Looking very healthy with a cool 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 tiers. There are 19 tiers. Nice. Yes. We do need more in Annoying Gay. Yeah, that's true, we do. Healthy and natural tier list, yeah. Every tier list should look like this. 100%. I mean, there's like all the... There's like Mecha Sonic, whatever. There's all those guys, I guess. There's... But who cares about them, right? Tails can be annoying gay? No, he can't. Take that back. That's, you don't mean that. The writers, guys. Ooh, true. I don't know them very well. Also, like, Marine exists from, from Sonic uh, Rush Adventure. She's Australian. I don't know what that means. She might be gay. <laughs> oh, no, she, or she might be straight and homophobic. I'll explain later. Or never. Marie, Marine is homophobic straight. I can- I am- I'm having a vision of the exact kind of person she is. I'm flashing back to various people I've known in life. It's- it's- oh man. Um... Can you put Antoine in annoying straight? Uh, yeah, which... Oh god, where- where is he? Because he should be on here twice. One for Sad AM and one for... Comic. There he is. Right, let's give him let's give him a special tier just for himself. 
Hold on. Add a row below. Okay. Annoying straight. <laughs> uh, there we go. What about Bunny and Sally? <sighs> okay, again, my cartoon knowledge is not as strong uh, as my game knowledge, so... Also, oh god, there's the avatar! Oh wait, hang on, we have to, we have to, hang on, okay, okay, hold hold everything. We'll get to, we'll get to Bunny, Rabbit, and Sally Acorn in a second, but check this out. Where is roughly the middle of our list? I guess around here, we have to go add a row above, uh, and we'll make this a fun shade of purple, we haven't used that yet. Uh, look in the mirror. That's you. <laughs> That's you, there you go. <laughs> Okay. Easy. That's you. You're whatever you want to be. Although you are playing a game where you get to be, like... Sonic's best friend, which is sort of... Well, it depends who you are, if that's gay or not, I guess. Yeah, Bunny Rabot, I think, for sure, gay. It just feels right, feels simple, feels easy. Sally Acorn, I don't, I, I simply don't know her. I, I simply don't know her. I'm simply unfamiliar with her ways. Although, people were very... Oh, yes! I was gonna say something about the cartoon, but more importantly, yeah. In the comics, right, the people love to ship her with, uh, oh my god, what's her fucking name? Like, Nicole the Hollow Lynx? Her, 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 her computer? Her compi? She's gay with her computer, I believe, yeah. So that's kind of huge. That's kind of huge and kind of awesome. Sally Acorn appears in The Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog? What the hell? I didn't know this. What? What the fuck? Oh, huh? Well, I didn't know they did that. That's scary. I never saw her in it. That's messed up. Anyway, Bunny Rabot. I mean, <laughs> she's pulling a face right there. Need we say more? We needn't. Sally Acorn is... We can go a little gay, at least. A little gay or figuring it out. Oh boy! Hi, yo yacht Welcome in. We're, 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 we're doing science today. Would you, would you like to pick anyone out from the crowd and assess them for everyone? There's a thousand characters here, so you really couldn't go wrong. For example, do you have any opinions about, uh, Chartle? <laughs> you got any Chartle opinions? Or maybe... Uh... Devil Doom? Is Werehog Sonic a separate one? <laughs> he is, and he's in he's in the top category, which is Ball Hog. He's in there with Ball Hog. And and himself. I hope that's satisfactory. Also, I see Game Quarter. She was only in the Christmas special. That's crazy. Nice no notes. Okay, sick. Cool, cool, cool. She wouldn't add the musk drunk category for me. Well, I did- I did suggest it, but then I got scared, I'll be honest with you. I mean, Bullhog, that's like close enough, right? That- that's close enough if you, you, you know, read between the lines. <laughs> it's basically the same thing. It's like a ki kind of, you know? Okay. Um... Oh, yeah, infinite. Infinite is, like, <sighs> probably, oh, it, oh, we need to, we need to get some nuance in for Infinite, actually, maybe. Hold on, where is he? 
Uh, Antonet is gay and homophobic. Do we have that? Where is that category? This category is so stupid. But with with infinite, it's like complicated though, because it's like it's like it's like uh like a self-loathing thing, you know. With infinite, he's like it's not just that he doesn't fucking give a shit, but it's like really he doesn't respect himself, you know. Which like might be the case for <laughs> John o Hedge. It happens all the time, but it's complicated, you know. So I feel like we need like. Gay and homophobic for 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 fun, uh, and then we need <laughs> below, and then gay and homophobic for for uh no, how do we do this? How do we split this up? Punished. No, we need we need we need we need like how do we It's not professionally no because he's he's tortured. He's tortured inside. Oh, but not well but well it's not fun no any it's not uh, hmm. Gay and homophobic depression. Thank you. Although for fun isn't really right either. We can we can just do a gay yeah, this one could be depression. Yeah. And his tear is pitch black. You can't read that. Okay. Never mind. Bring it back. There we go. Okay. Nice. Here's something crazy that you might not know or bought. Is an annoying straight, but Qbot is an annoying gay. You might have thought they were the same, but you're wrong. One is one and one is the other. I don't remember which one of them is which. I mean, one of them is an orb and one of them is not an orb, but like, I don't remember which one has which voice or anything. They're basically the same guy to me. <laughs> Except I think it's important that we give them this awesome distinction. Uh, where did he go? There he is. They are not roommates. Yeah, they're different, actually. He's in Chip's category. There we go. Cubot is the one with a thousand voices. Orbot sounds gay. Okay, well, if Orbot sounds gay, then we can actually swap them. Sometimes people sound gay, and it's because they are. This is a little trick I'm teaching you guys. You can, you can use this at home. You shouldn't, though. Okay. That's good. Uh... <laughs> I'll use it. Okay. Nice. Let's go. Sage? 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 From Frontiers? Sage? Uh... Moving on. Sage is super gay? I don't know if... That's the case. Maybe figuring it out straight. Maybe Eggman's like a woke dad. But she's straight. Actually. Jet, wave, and storm. Jet, wave, and storm. Jet, wave, and storm. I need help. I need help with them, okay? Jetwave and Storm, the guys from Riders, here they are. I don't know them well enough. So I need I need you to tell me. Wave is definitely gay. Which one's wave? Oh yeah. This one? Yeah. She's quite awesome. Jet might be in a little gay along with Sonic and Shadow. Maybe yeah, are they all the same? Because Jet is like Jet is just like Sonic, right? Wave gay, jet gay, annoying, storm gay, conservative. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Jet is definitely gay for Sonic. Oh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Wave is gay, storm is somehow homophobic. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. 
Well, yeah, we're, we're, we seem to be getting pretty consistent opinions in that one of them, one of them is somehow conservative or homophobic, but not the same one necessarily. So we need to decide who, which one is the conservative of them. That's Chow. Goodbye, Chow. That's Cheese. Uh, okay. Hold on, let's get... So... I think Jet is a little- Jet is a little gay. Or Jet might be- oh, this is the wrong- that's the wrong tier list, that's the old one. There we go. Jet is- maybe Jet is all the way gay, actually. I think. Unlike- unlike Sonic and Shadow, Jet might be all the way. Um, but... Storm and Wave. Storm and Wave. God, I don't know. I don't know. Wave is 100 mean gay. Agree that Wave is mean gay? Okay. I, I did like Iggy's read that she was somehow gay conservative, though. That was kind of, that was kind of awesome, and I, I don't know where it came from, because I haven't played the game, but I just kind of liked it. So I think I might... I might follow it. I don't know. I just, I like, it's so crazy to me. Iggy had Storm for that? What? Sorry, their names are so similar. Wave, okay, sorry, I was mixing them up. Okay, that's, that's easier to see. That's easier to see. That's easier to see. <laughs> Although, now that, now that we've opened up the possibility, No, no, we'll 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 put a uh, her there and wave in conservative. That's fine. That's awesome to me. Good lord. All right, Storm, get in there, buddy. Storm and Black Doom. They should hang out. They should they should you know see if they hit it off or whatever. Would love that for them. Egg pawn. <laughs> Egg pawn. I don't know why I'm including him at all. I'm gonna put him down. I just want it to be funny. Aggressive ally would be funny. <laughs> but it'd be nonsense, but it would be funny. Do you know it to be true? Perhaps. Guys, I haven't added a category in a while. I'm feeling I'm feeling nervous. I'm feeling nervous. I haven't added a category in a while. I feel like something's going wrong. I feel like we're losing nuance. I feel like at one point this list was really nuanced, now it's getting like messy and like not like, you know. Maybe with chaos. Chaos is not on there yet, and maybe there is nuance there. True. Let's ponder that. Where is he? There he is. Chaos. <sighs> Chaos is like... Ooh, I don't know. We, we might need the like... You can add they're not straight to go with they're not gay. Mm, yeah, I don't know. That just carries less pizzazz to me. But I, I hear you. That would fit as another tier. Um, we we could shuffle some people around. We we could have the like. We could have the like. Uh, not labeling anything, but like, is labeling 1L? Damn. Uh, but like, you know, it's chill. It's whatever. I don't know. I like, I feel like that like, is sort of some of them, but I guess that's also just the same as gay, basically. Because gay is so all-encompassing on this list. Like, maybe we don't need that.
labeling with one L is a US thing. Oh, my damn keyboard's reset again. It does this sometimes. But wait, no, it's not. It says I'm on English Australia for my for my thing. What the hell? Whatever. That's fine. One L. Crazy. Uh. Dude, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about chaos. I actually don't know. I actually don't know. Chaos is... I, I don't know. Ace is the safest answer, I feel. Yeah. Well, we, we don't have, like, an... I mean, we, we have Ace Arrow, but we, do we think Chaos is... Chaos is Ace, but radiates sexual energy. Yeah. Chaos can be in there. That's, like, controversial, I think, but it's chill. Because I just don't know. Hard to pin down. Chaos might be beyond all that, you know? Although it's funny to imply that Chaos, who, like, is taking a form willingly that looks like this has less feelings about, like, you know, the sex and sexuality than, or not less, but just, you know, different than this thing, who is the most boring thing ever. So, I don't know, it's weird, you know, like, because I mean, like, they're both, like, gods is what I mean, right? And yet we're putting Solaris in store. We're saying Solaris has some kind of opinions, but Chaos doesn't, which is maybe fine. Maybe Chaos doesn't. Maybe that's maybe that's the nuance that Chaos has over Solaris. But also Chaos looks like that, you know? So it's just crazy. Chaos is water. Yeah, but it's like, <laughs> it's like shapely water, <laughs> you know? It's not that he's not interested or put off. He just does something way cooler. Yeah, he turns into a big creature and drowns 8 billion people. Which is way cooler, TBH. Uh, does anyone have an opinion on sticks? Does anyone have an opinion on sticks? No. <laughs> no opinions on sticks? Gay homophobic? I got nothing. I don't know. She's like wacky. She had a gay experience once. Oh, you know, we don't have a tier for that, which is weird because we should. We have a little gay, but that's different. That's like, that's like different. That's like different. We need that. Hold on. What are we, what are we doing, you guys? We've been, we've been fucking up this whole time. Thank you, Straw Bros. That's so important. That's so true. <laughs> we should clarify. Straight, but had a gay experience once. Or considers himself straight, but had a gay experience once. Uh, this is getting this is getting so complicated now. I feel like things are making less and less sense. Experimented in college. Oh, that's what we should just call it. That's a much better name for it. Oh, wait. No, that was figuring it out straight, I guess. Whatever. It's fine. That's that's the tier. That's the tier. Okay. Are there any other important characters? Are there any other important characters that we have to do? Like, there's so many, but like... I don't really want to have to rank every, uh, every hard-boiled heavy, you know? The hard-boiled heavies are pretty awesome. But, like, I think mostly, like, they could all just be gay if we wanted them to be. There, I think there was, there's something very gay about, like, a, like a robot. <laughs> like, a really robot-ass robot, you know? 
Like, more so than a, than, a, than a really human robot to me. A really human robot is, like, whatever, but when it's, like, a really robot robot, I'm like... That's, like, gay in, like, a really, like, classic sense of it. You know, that's just, like, that's, like, old school, just, like, that's, you know, simple. That's, that's a gay robot. Just feel it. You know? It's just, it's just simple. We haven't ranked Robotnik. Robotnik is even more gay than Eggman, really. But he's, he, I mean, he's the same. He's the same. He's, I mean, he's not the same, but for us, he'd be the same. Where's Thorndike? He's a little- he's a little gay. No, he's not a gay misogynist, he's a little gay. Actually, wait, it would be hype if he was gay. Wait, guys, it would be hype- wait, let's, hear me out. It would be hype if he was gay. It'd be like Tails, but like, not as good. But like, still kind of interesting, you know? He's- he's a little gay, trust me. <laughs> Send it. <laughs> Send it. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> would be hype if you were gay. <laughs> you know what? Special special tier just for him. I had a row above. I, I earlier I said I was I was just saying things as they were. I was divining the will of the world. But like this one is okay, it would be hype if he was gay. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> alternatively alternatively Thorn what? <laughs> Anyway, okay. It would it would be high. Okay. Alright. Anyway, good good stuff. Good talk. Good job. Good good times. Well Um I'm running out of characters I care about. There's all these IDW guys, but I don't know them well enough. I've read the first, like, bit of it. So I have seen Tangle and Whisper and Rough and Tumble. I've seen all those guys. <laughs> we could rank Zavok. I don't really want to. I don't really want to. Porker Lewis. Can we put Surge in gay homophobic for the Tumblrinos? <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? I mean, Surge and Scourge do seem like awesome fucking guys, but I've never experienced them. Clutch? Who the hell is Clutch? Also, wait, where is Surge? Is Surge even here? Oh, there's Surge. I see. Duo? Who the hell are these guys? Mimic? Oh wait, no, I've seen- Mimic's like an octopus, right? I've seen a page about this guy. Can you put the IDW logo in gay and homophobic? That'd be crazy. <laughs> I've built up Surge so much in my mind there's no way reality can live up to it. I mean, she seems pretty awesome. I've seen some images on the internet. She seems pretty awesome. Also- Oh, this guy! This guy, I mean, he's gay. They drew him to be gay. Look at him. He's like he's snivelly, but he actually is gay for real this time. Okay. I, I kind of low-key feel like for now this is sort of a, a big success and good. Dr. Starline is gay as fuck! Thank you, Iggy. I, I, I feel like we're good. I feel like I'm a little, a little tired because we are coming in towards what is six hours of total streaming. Good night, Kenster. So I, I think we're kind of, we're kind of good for now, honestly. I could tweet this out. 
I might touch it up a bit before I tweet it out. I might also tweet it out, like, tomorrow when people will actually see it rather than now when it's, like, way too late. But I, I, I will, I will tweet a version of this out. I will let people see it, okay? Because for now it's saved. And we've done basically all the important game characters. Except for the, the heavies. Who are, like, kind of important, I guess. And also these guys, but whatever. We, I think we're, I think we're good. I think for now we're good. I think for now we're, we're, we're good. We, we've covered most of the iconic and important guys. For sure. 100. I learned so much today. I'm glad. I'm glad this was educational for you. <laughs> I think it was educational for me. I think we, we could also do more at some point. Because I did just, I got a little tired towards the end and I stopped having the ability to like, you know, shoot from the hip and declare Omo Chow as being like a like a freak, you know. <laughs> like I, I had that energy coming into it, and I kind of lost it towards the end. But I think if we came back to this at some point just to like tidy it up or, or get some more guys on there, we'd be getting some other strong thanks for sure. One hundred. Okay. Well, that was good. Uh, good, good, good talk, everybody. Um. Good talk, good stuff. Omo Chat was definitely a trance moment. Yeah, I was I was just locked in. Maybe these are all the categories and there's no more. There's no way that's true though. There's like not that like there's no way that's true. There's totally more categories. <laughs> Thanks for doing this. Any 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 time. Any time. I mean listen. I'm I'm glad I streamed some more. I know this was like, you know, obviously there's less people here. Or I presume so. It's, you kind of learn to intuit at a certain point without checking the numbers. But, uh, you know, it's 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 chill. I think it was worthwhile. I think it was worthwhile that we did some just chatting and some tier listing. Because I would have been sad if I only got to stream for three hours today, you know. And there were a great three hours, but we had another great two, nearly three hours right here, right now, also. So, it, it all worked out. I'm going to inform all the guests at family gatherings of this tier list. Thank you! It's very important that you do that. That would be huge and vital and inspiring. This might have been my favorite stream so far. I hope this was entertaining. Congratulations to those of you who got to who got to see, who got to enjoy. Alright. Anyway. Uh let me raid someone. Also, numbers will be wrong, because half of these numbers will be the numbers from earlier. Because a lot of these didn't get redeemed in this three hours. But there you go. There's some numbers, at least. So, thumbs up. Enjoy that. Uh, yeah, we had barely any TTS. We were, I mean, that's what happens. That's what happens when it's, um, when it's sleepy like this. When there's like half the people here or two thirds or anything, like we just we're kind of chill as fuck. <laughs> we're kind of chill as hell, and TTS just happens way less. Uh, you know what? Oh, we can raid Lexi. Lexi is playing Sonic Colors, so that's sort of like relevant, right? That's sort of like uh appropriate. Because we were playing Sonic Tier List. <laughs> the greatest game of all time. The best Sonic game ever released. Alright, well, uh, that's all for me. I think tomorrow I might go live for like another short stream and fight one more Colossus and get that game put to, put to sleep and snooze and bed and whatnot. But we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, uh, thanks gamers. I'm glad I could stream a little bit more. Um, thank you for coming by, because I know it was a weird time, and it was a, it was a different stream, but, you know, it's good stuff. All right, bye-bye. Uh, Farewell. Thank you.